Association. All right. Welcome early tonight here at Jimmy Swain Stadium. I'm joined by, wait, myself tonight. I do not have a cohort as of right yet. Uh, tonight is a special night here at Appling County. We have recreation night going on tonight, and we want to be here early to bring that to our Appling County folks. And these young men can see themselves uh, broadcasted live or go back and rewatch it anyways on BNB Broadcast. I'm Chris Floyd. David Heron is uh, one of the coaches down here for the 12U team. I uh, don't know if he's any good at it, but uh, he is down there. Uh, so we're going to bring that to you tonight. Uh, with, a, with a heavy heart, I do want to mention this tonight. Uh, two things. Uh, we have a young man out of uh, Windsor Forest, folks, that uh, passed away Monday uh, on the football field. He wasn't playing at the time, but uh, he did pass away. We want to keep his uh, folks and family and, and the Windsor Forest family in our prayers. And... Um, and just let folks know, you know, anytime this happens, it's, it's a tragic thing. But we are in prayer for those folks and, and hope the best. Also, on another note, uh, as most folks know the man, and, and I did too, uh, Coach Griff, Coach Robert Lee Griffith, which we called him Bob Griffith, uh, passed away uh, October the 2nd, uh, age 79. Um, he served in the military uh, in 69. He served one year in Vietnam. Uh, where he commended uh, the medal, um, commended a medal with V for Valor, the Bronze Star in the National Defense Award. Um, his career started out as an assistant coach at Northside High School in Warner Robins for three years. His first head coaching job was in Appalachian County from 1973 to 78. Um, he then went on to Colquitt County for three seasons, and he, you know, was hired as head football coach at Effingham County High School. Um, across the way in 1981. Uh, he coached there for 19 years. Uh, his 87 team reached the state championship and finished with a record of 14-1, and one, which holds the school record. Um, he retired and uh, decided that uh, he might get back into it. Some folks here at Appling County talked him into coming back and coaching Appling County from 99 to 2003, uh, where he took us to the Dome. If most folks that, that are my age or a little older, as David is, uh, can remember that that time where we went 13-1. and one. And I know there's a lot of players here tonight out of respect for Griff. And uh, that 99 team was, was something special uh, for, for us folks here in Appling County. They kind of set the standard uh, in my eyes. Uh, but just want to be in prayer for his family. And uh, he finished a career um, at Georgia Tech where he desert, uh, served as uh, director of high school relations and served through 2006. But, again, he's also in the Georgia Athletic Coaches Association Hall of Fame. He was inducted in June of 2011 with 219 wins. Um, for an honor for, for Coach Griff, Effingham High School honored him by naming their stadium after him, Bob Griffith Stadium, the Griff. Uh, survived by a devoted wife of 54 years, uh, Stella Massey Griffith. Uh, we just want to let those folks know we're praying for y'all and uh, hope the best and hope God can, uh, you know, show you his mercies and grace. We understand the losses. Um, so our prayers and thoughts are with your family. And, uh, you know, we want to thank him for serving here in Appling County. Folks, we're getting ready here. We got over across the way a huge lineup of recreation football players. But on top of that, we have a load of cheerleaders that's coming out, too, with these uh, young men that support them and cheer for them as our uh, Appling County Pirate, Lady Pirate cheerleaders uh, serve on the sideline as uh, cheers for our football team and looking forward to that here tonight. It looks like we're going to have flag team, uh, 8U, 10U, and 12U. And uh, I think that's everybody as I got on my list. Uh, from the rec department tonight. Uh, looking forward to a great matchup here tonight. We have Toombs County, which is our second region matchup here. You can see on the screen, we have Toombs County that has traveled over across the river, the Autumn Hall, to come uh, play the Pirates. This is our second region game. Man, what a game last week, our first region game of the year. We played uh, one of the toughest teams uh, in, in my eyes, and I know Toombs is also. These are probably three of the toughest teams in our region, Toombs, Applin, and Pierce. And uh, the Pirates uh, took a nail-biter win uh, last week, 17-14, uh, with a 39-yard field goal uh, kick by Alan Razor Ramirez. 
what a job by him. If y'all haven't seen that young man to, to you know, commend him on what he did, it was a great accomplishment by him. Uh, just, you know, overwhelming job. I want to also give a shout out to those folks over in Pierce. You know, the, the fans that were in the end zone with us were super nice. You know, I picked on them uh, a lot down there about their horn. It was loud, and I even, you know, talked about some stuff there that, that was funny. We enjoyed it. Uh, but, you know, when people give back like that, it's, it's just super great. And uh, appreciate them for the hospitality they give us and the AD uh, allowing us to be over there to broadcast that game and give it to both communities and the folks that can't be here, you know. This was our primary goal about doing doing these broadcasts was to uh, allow us to bring it to folks that can't be here. I've got a lot of friends that have health issues that can't make it. Grandparents can't make it. But uh, we're very thankful. We thank the Lord that we're able to do this. Uh, we're sitting here watching tombs warm up a little bit here, folks, um, right now. And uh, we're looking forward to a great ball game here tonight and a, you know, a second region matchup for the Pirates. Cole, this is going to be a great game tonight. I know Cole's not talking to us tonight. He he chose not to be on air with me. He's going to let me be alone until David gets back up here in the booth with me tonight. And that's a hard thing to do, <laughs> sit up here and be able to talk. Uh, and Cole said that's not, that's not true because I never hush, so it don't matter. <clears throat> Cole, I did some uh, some stuff this week. I, I went and done some uh, research, and I was looking at some state uh, records uh, going through, and I, and I just kind of wanted to highlight some stuff that uh, that some of our teams have done throughout the years, and uh, really want to pinpoint uh, one player that just stood out on the on some stats. They have rushing yards in a game. Uh, minimum of 400 yards and and I'm trying to get my Facebook page up right now I'm going to ask this question to anybody uh, if they can answer this question um, I'm going to give the year that way to kind of make it a little easier I know some of the young folks won't be able to answer this some of my age folks could answer this but the guy that has the most yards in a single game in App this is just Appling County not, not in the state you know not in the in the state, he doesn't. The highest average is, or the highest uh, rushing yards in a game, is held by a uh, young man out of uh, Pepperell, is uh, Devin Collins. He had 485 yards rushing in a single game. But for the Appling County Pirates, this young man in a single game, Appling County was playing Hepsiba in 1991. He had 411 yards in a single game rushing. And I don't know if anybody has done that since. And, uh, and as far as I can tell with the records, nobody in Appling County has done that. So this is an Appling County record that I accumulated looking through some of these stats. And if folks, if you're joining us and, and uh, you can name that guy, uh, let me know. I'd like to hear it. And when I, I won't... Uh, I won't say this kid's name until we get uh, get ready for some pirate football. Right when we get started, I'll name this young man's name. He was a running back here at Appling County in 1991. That's the year I graduated. Uh, it's not the year he graduated, but if you can name that young man's name, let us know here on the BNB broadcast here on uh, Facebook. I'm, I'm only watching Facebook at the moment, guys. I know we're on YouTube Live, but uh, if you can join me on Facebook and uh, answer that question for me, uh, just let me know. Folks looking at the screen here, you can see over the way, uh, got some other exciting news. Uh, I think we shared it last week, but on Facebook, on the uh, on our Facebook page, uh, shared a spotlight. We now, thanks to the Board of Education, the superintendent, and a lot of other folks, I can't name everybody's name. There's so, so many. I'm not going to individually name anybody but a lot of hard work went into allowing us to get the uh, cannon back on our sidelines uh if you're at the booth where we're looking down right now from the cameras over to your left where you see the smoke at we now have a permanent spot for our cannon and it is back guys we are super happy and proud to have that cannon back on the field um and i know our kids are excited about that that's just that's part of our um 
heritage here, I mean, I, I think is, you know, something that we should be able to have on our field. A lot of work is winning that by a lot of folks. And I uh, just want to say what a great job and what an awesome uh, thing to have back here in Appling County. And folks, y'all know if you've played here or have been a fan here for years, that cannon means the world to us because a lot of our region foes hate that cannon. And I, I've talked to a lot of folks about that cannon, and they absolutely hate to hear that thing go off. So um, looking forward to that tonight also. So far, I haven't had a response on my question yet. The This is a single game, the most rushing yards of anybody in Appling County history of a single game, over 400 yards, had 411 yards in a game against Hepzibah in 1991. If you can name this young man's name, uh, just give me an answer here on Facebook. Tonight is youth night. We would like to recognize our football players, cheerleaders, and their coaches for all of their hard work and dedication. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to get off and get back on my Facebook page, folks. I'm a little behind. <laughs> but keep joining us, folks. Help us share the broadcast out here in, in the uh, big world of... Because I can't seem to get anything working for me right now. Technology is way beyond me, folks. I can promise you that. All right, it looks like our, uh, our young players are getting ready to take the field. The Saints are coached by Randall Rosier. We got our flag team and coaches. Eagles is uh, led by Jeremy Norris and Chad Norris. Cheer coach is Casey Landon. Our 8U teams and coaches. The Jets are Give you a big shout out tonight. Philip O'Hara watching from Missouri. Uh, says go Pirates. And right now, David Heron is not joining me, folks. Uh, he, he's down on the field. He's actually uh, taking up occupancy, uh, coaching a 12U team. Uh, you have the Falcons team. It's uh, led by Adam Thomas and Kevin Thompson. Cheer coach is Kiana Williams and Samara Salem. You got the Jaguars, uh, led by Chris Wilson and Rod Moore. Cheer coaches is Lindsey Smith and Kadasha Mullis. And the Saints, Randall Rozier. Cheer coaches is Tiffany Kamalaskis and Jana Carter. That's the flag teams and coaches. We have the eight U teams and coaches. Uh, the Jets is led by Rusty Lovett and Jeffrey Taylor. Cheer coaches Tiffany Smith. The Redskins We've got Brandon Carter, Terry Wells, Reed Skinner, and Chris Jackson. Cheer coaches Olivia Grace Wolf. You have the Seahawks is uh, Levi Wright, Patrick Merrick, Derek Henry. Cheer coaches are Cassandra Jones and Andrea Wilkerson. The Steelers, this is the 8U team, Stephen Gillis and Brian Perry. Cheer coaches Sherry Brandon. Now you have the 10U teams and coaches, the Cowboys. It's Cody Nell and Jeremy Wiggins. Cheer coaches is Raven Thomas, DeBrasha Miller, and April Patchman. The Packers is led by C.J. Nell, a big name here in Appling County, uh, and Chase Cravey. The cheer coaches is Bridget King and uh, Lee Garcia. Rams is led by Jared Stone, Matt McCoy, another big name here in Appling County. Chris Stone, cheer coaches is Tori Stone, Samira Ruffin, and Jennifer Norris. And you have your 12U team and coaches. This team is one of the travel teams. We only have one team in the 12U. Uh, it's actually the Appleton County Rec Department. Uh, we're going to call them the Youth Pirates, led by Josh Gardner, David David Heron. Uh, he's just uh, occupying space, and Marquise Harris, Cody Nell, and Kevin Thompson. Cheer coach is Rachel Hester. Guys, it takes a, an army to do what these young men are doing, and they, they're they led by a uh, uh, re recreation director, Timmy McGuirk, uh, who has taken over the job and has done an outstanding job here in Applin County to get our youth back involved um, and try and grow the program as much as we can. The youth are showing up in, in groves to play football. 
And I just got a glimpse of this, folks. I'm sorry it wasn't on my agenda, but um, we also had the uh, Tri-City Bulldogs out there. Don't want to not mention those young men. You will not be allowed on the field so, prior to, during, or after the conclusion. We have got that. If you do not have an approved Allen County High School field pass, Let's see here who the first person was to actually give me an answer here. Jack, you're a little late. He was a little later there. Uh, the first answer was Roscoe Walds, and you were very correct. It was Unray Solomon. One of the, to my knowledge of watching in the last 30 years, one of the best running backs in Appling County history. Dexter Carter was a great one, too. He went on to play college ball at uh, Florida State and went to the San Francisco 49ers, uh, played in the Super Bowl and won one. Uh, don't want to not give him uh, his his kudos there because he done a great job for the Pirates. He's one of the fastest men in Appling County. Chris Unray Solomon, it, it actually was 411 yards uh, is what they have. There's some other records in here, but I don't want to talk about them because they were against us, so I'm not going to go into those details. Uh, but the most rushing yards by anyone uh, had to have over 6,000 yards um, in the state was led by Monty Williams of Commerce from 97 to 2000. And another kid's name you might know is Washon Ely at ECI from 2005 to 8. He had 8,100 yards of rushing Big numbers, big names, folks. You go through this list and look at these records, and it is amazing uh, what you see here. It is it's just some some kind of awesome. I love to talk about our old Pirates. It's just something I really do. There's so many names out there and so many people that join us on our broadcast and love having you folks here, old Pirates. Uh, just going through it, one's a young Pirate, Bryson Benton, just seen him in here, and another, I'm going to give him an old shout-out. I'm sorry, Stacy Wilkerson, an old Pirate. Uh, you are old with me. We're not as old as David, though, Stacy. that's for sure. Stacy's got us, or, excuse me, David's got us beat by about 40 500 years. <laughs> but glad y'all are joining us here tonight, folks. Cole, we letting the uh, young men uh, run off. We're going to take a quick break and give our sponsors a chance to to be seen. Okay, we're going to let the kids walk off. Yeah, I see it now. I'm sorry. Okay, sounds good. We're going to let the kids walk off, let you see them young men and women walking off. Maybe you can see your child. I really want to say this, guys. If you're passionate about any sport, whether it be football, softball, baseball, soccer, wrestling, I, you know, I'm going to let the list keep going on. If you're passionate about it and you know anything about it and you want to give back, folks, and you have the time to do it, volunteer your time these kids i mean you know you've had a coach or somebody that had even band I, i'll go to band and any other activity please give your time that that's the best thing you could do because you could be the mentor for any kid out there and not even realize you're missing out on a blessing um, this is one of the greatest things you can do in my eyes is to give freely and give you time because these kids just want to see us do what we should be doing as stewards and you know showing these kids the right way so hope our pirates are loud and proud tonight and i know they got their uh, shakers here we see them clearing out right now we're going to take a break now cole uh, yep that's it the Georgia High School Association. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. With Are some you action. feeling tired or sluggish? Experiencing joint pain, changes in your hair or your skin? Have I got a solution for you? At the IV Drip Parlor, we can offer you the most effective way to get vitamins directly into your bloodstream, making you feel better and look better fast. We can't wait to schedule your appointment today or to see you just walk in. We are dripping with excitement to help you meet your best self. Come meet us at the IV Drip Parlor.
Auto Owners insures your small business because it isn't small to you. That's simple human sense. Ask James M. Swain and Associates in Baxley and Hazelhurst if auto owners make sense for you. Never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you. Community centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Folsom Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get in the back and let's do it. Do it. Are you feeling tired or sluggish? Experiencing joint pain, changes in your hair or your skin? Have I got a solution for you? At the IV Drip Parlor, we can offer you the most effective way to get vitamins directly into your bloodstream, making you feel better and look better fast. We can't wait to schedule your appointment today or to see you just walk in. We are dripping with excitement to help you meet your best self. Come meet us at the IV Drip Parlor. insures your small business because it isn't small to you. That's simple human sense. Ask James M. Swain and Associates in Baxley and Hazelhurst if auto owners make sense for you. your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you.
Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Folsom Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get in the back and let's do it. Do it. Are you feeling tired or sluggish? Experiencing joint pain, changes in your hair or your skin? Have I got a solution for you? At the IV Drip Parlor, we can offer you the most effective way to get vitamins directly into your bloodstream, making you feel better and look better fast. We can't wait to schedule your appointment today or to see you just walk in. We are dripping with excitement to help you meet your best self. Come meet us at the IV Drip Parlor. All right, welcome back, Pirate fans. Here at Jimmy Swain Stadium, we're getting prepared to do the national anthem. The Pirate Brigade is coming on the field. Just had a moment of silence for uh, Coach Bob Griffith, David. I went over that earlier. Uh, and for the young man, uh, was 15 years of age, down in Windsor Forest, who passed away on the field Monday. Uh, just wanted to honor both of those folks here tonight. Uh, yeah. We're going to get ready here for the national anthem, as we always do, David. We David uh, Heron has just joined me finally. Yeah, we've been down there with a. I told him you were occupying space down there yeah. and, and calling yourself a coach, but you know, it is what it is. Right. And, and and I didn't say this earlier, but I forgot, David. Uh, y'all's team is undefeated this undefeated. year. Undefeated so we far. Are. We are so far undefeated. It has to be something Josh Gardner's doing, or it could be because he's a birthday boy yeah. today. It's all. Do you know that? Yeah. Oh, no, I did not know that. You should have told me. Oh, we got some fun. You know, all the time that I never give him pizza, now he can complain. I might give him a piece uh, of pizza tonight. There you go. Or a brownie. Get him some of pineapple. Something with pineapple. Okay, I can do that. Josh, you're getting pineapple tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say happy, happy birthday to Josh Gardner tonight. <laughs> what you told me that. I was saying happy birthday to him. Josh is one of our uh, outstanding cameramen on Friday nights that joins us every Friday night. Him and Kevin Thompson up top. Yeah. We got a new person. Uh, we, we fired the last one. Uh, well, we didn't fire We just picked uh, Stone Bates uh, had some prior engagements that he couldn't make. So we, we got us a new guy. It's Jackson. You know who it is? No. You don't know Jackson yet? No. Do you know why? It's because you don't ever show up to nothing anymore. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jackson Hartley. Oh, yeah. Great young man. Yeah, I know. He's helping us do our scoreboard. Okay, Cole Gardner. We're fishing to go to the National Anthem. I think we are. We're going to. Gonna, uh, we, moment of prayer. And, uh, yep. Ladies, 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 Give us just a minute, folks. Be right back. Given by Miss Amelia Lott, the fellowship of Christian students at Appalachian County High School, and remain standing as we honor America for the playing of our National Anthem by the Appalachian County Marching Pirate Brigade under the direction of band director, Mr. Jonathan Hickox. The colors are being presented tonight by the Appling County High School Army Junior ROTC.
right, welcome back, Pyre fans. We've just had an awesome invocation and an awesome uh, Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance, yes, That's sir. Right. As we like to do, we honor and God bless America. Uh, folks, tonight, uh, tonight's middle school band, it is, tonight is middle school band night. The Mighty Ram Band will join the Pirate Brigade for a joint pregame performance. The show will feature over 200, over 200, Applin County Band students. ACM, ACMS Band is under the direction of Jim Perry and some sorry other guy named John Beck, who always gives me a hard time. <laughs> John Payback's always the hardest hey, when I'm on the John, other side of the back. keep it coming, baby. I'm <laughs> loving it. I'm loving it. <laughs> Nothing but love. Uh, John, I'm glad to have him back home in Applin County. I know Mama is and Dad. Uh, John's doing an awesome job with our uh, percussions. I actually know what that is, believe it or not. Do you? Yes, I do. And John's doing an awesome job. John uh, performed at UGA. Uh, got the privilege to go up there for about four years and follow him through his college career. Very proud to see it. Folks, the captains are coming out. David, let's see if we can get some numbers and some names here. Yeah, you want me to find out who uh, our captains are. All right, I can see number one for the Pirates. Jamari in the truck, Williams, number 16 for the Pirates. Jamarcus uh, Robinson, the hitter, number 60. Glad to see him back. Jalen Matt Dog Smith, and number 15, Treshawn, the real deal more. And across the way for the Bulldogs, the Tombs County Bulldogs, it looks like it's number five. I got Mike Polk, uh, number, is that eight or six? Uh, that looks like a number eight. I'm trying to look, see if we got a close up on them. I can't really tell. You got a nope, five and an eight. That's six. That's Davin Wadley. And uh, number 74, uh, Augustus Underwood. And number 14, I believe, is their uh, quarterback. He is Junior T.J. Stanley, 6'3". Tall three. kid. <laughs> yeah. I was down there by him a while ago. He is extremely tall. Good-looking athlete. Head coach is Buddy Martin. Jamario Williams. Number 16, Jamarcus Robinson. Well, I'm excited, Chris. This is good. Good I, atmosphere. Know, Tombs County honestly, has brought a lot of folks over here. Honestly, David, this is a huge region matchup for us. Uh, just coming off a great win over Pierce County. I spoke about that earlier. Uh, Nail Biter over there. Yes. You know, also a great, great team. Talked about this earlier, David. Uh, you know, even on the Pierce County side, these are, to me, is going to be three of the biggest powerhouses. And we're ranked in the state right now. Yeah. In the top ten, all three of these teams, Pierce, Toons, and, and Applin, Applin that's right. are all ranked in the top ten. You know, that says a lot about our, our region, a well, uh, very well, strong well, Chris, region. Chris, we knew last year when we went over there to that that beautiful stadium they have the over pit. in Toons. They the call pit. it the pit. My dad lived over there for 20-plus years, uh, visited that place several times. Uh, yeah, we have family over in that area, but – we uh, we went over there and they gave us all we wanted. Yeah, um, they had a couple of outstanding players that I remember. All right, uh, Tombs won the toss, David. We're going to receive. Yep. All right, so they deferred. All right, we're getting ready for the Pirates to come out on the field. One of the best interests in the land, in our, our opinion. I mean, we're a little biased, David, I think. Yeah, I Don't you think? seen something that was posted somewhere on Facebook about that, that we are actually noticing. You got the smoke coming out? Yep. And here come the Look at the smoke ring coming, buddy. <laughs> Love having that cannon back on this field. Oh, yeah. Man, I hope we can get a shot of that, that smoke ring, and we did. That thing's still going up yeah, there, that's David. That's beautiful right there. Love it, love it, love it. Absolutely Our love it. Our photographer, Kevin, down there, he, I think he's getting a shot on it. Guys, that is just like none other, in my opinion. Uh, having our Pirates have that cannon back on that field, maybe it can bring him some excitement back to the program. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, Chris, um, we had a – talking about uh, Toombs County's team last year, they had a couple outstanding players that I remember. One of them was a big, tall, 6'3", 230-pound Will Watts, who yeah. is now playing at the next level. Yes, sir, and they had another kid by the name of Tank Morris. I will Tank, never forget that. Tank Morris. Um, I've talked to a teacher from over there a couple of months ago, and, and uh, I mentioned him, and she talked yeah. about how great of a kid he was, how smart Amen. of a kid. And uh, he is actually going to Georgia Southern. 
you know, he is actually going to Georgia Southern and um, not playing football. He's doing school. Amen. And hey. Well, with a 3.9 GPA, I mean. Great wrestling program over there, too. They, they both of them wrestled and all that. And uh, Watts is actually playing football with Erskine College in South cool. Carolina. I Great. think they're Division II college. Hey, Division three, Division two, NIAI, yeah. it doesn't matter, it don't guys. Matter. If you get the opportunity, it's a blessing yep. for sure. All right, we're getting ready for a kickoff. Who's lined up back in the back? All right, David. we got back deep. I see Mikel Creighton, number two, and who else we got back Number here? 25, Kamoni Riles. Kamoni Riles. Up close, we got Ed, the Iron Man Williams, and I'm not sure who else we got over at. I think it's Takari Kinsey, I believe. All right, let's get ready for some pirate action. And there's your kickoff. Ball deep, deep. Fielded around the eight by Creighton. Creighton's hit immediately by oh, number man. 23. The ball pops loose. I think he may have been down. I They're think not, he was. He is waving his hands. They're going to they call, call him the play down. dead. If not, that's a touchdown for the Toons County Bulldogs. Yeah, that, he was hit by, who did I say, number 26? We'll look these names up here in a minute. And Toombs County folks, if you're tuning in and all, if we mispronounce the name, we do not mean to. Mm -mm. It is totally by accident. And if that was number 26, that's a freshman. Mincy. That was 23 that 23 made the hit. That made the hit. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to hit I said there. the number, but I couldn't remember who it was. All right, it's first and 10 for the Pirates from the 16. Got away with one there, David. We sure did. All right, Pirates to the line. Dason Griffiths, our quarterback, number nine. One long back in the backfield. That is none other than. They're playing a little man on Williams. us here. Hey, are they? We got um, one to the, the left, one to the right. Yeah, loading up on us. Look like they may come after us here to start with. There's the snap. Hands off to Williams. A little stutter there. He makes a move. Comes back to the inside. Still on his feet. Gets on out around about the 20. Good game with about five yards there. Going to make it second and five for the Pirates from the 21-yard line. Great run by the truck right out the bat. Or right out the gate, let's put it that way. Yeah. Gain of five on the play, second and five. I'm going to tell you, Chris, I was looking there, guys. They're big. They're big yes, up front like we are. They're very big. Do that coming into this game. At number two, they've got out there, Lagonzo Howard's listed as 6'2", 190. Oh, man. Playing a little safety. They're giving us man here. I think they're going to – Griffiths gonna... with the snap. Hands off to Williams coming around this right side. Oh, he's, he's got, got some room. room. Somebody hits him around the knees, knocks him down about, the, what, 26? Let's we'll see where they post him at. Oh, they that's, give him a little – That's few. the first down, David. They're going to spot us on the 28. After the run, that'll be enough for another Appling County. First down. All right, first and 10 from the 28 for the, for the Pirates. It's a good run by Jamarion Williams. Heavy dose of run, and it looks like we're going to come out and do the same thing we started with Pierce. Pirates coming here tonight with the red helmets, the black jerseys yes, tonight. Yes, sir, again. Silver britches. Same setup. Eccles to the right. Hickox to the left. Griffiths with the snap. Hands off to Williams. He cuts back to the right, but ah, a host a of Bulldogs get him. Not him for a loss. That was number 40 in there with the tackle. 48, excuse me, uh, Hayden Johnson. They got several freshmen that starting for them on defense this year. And they, well, they shows you that the future's bright for them. Uh, no, well, not only that, these guys can tackle. Yeah. And they've proven it in their last six games. Well, you know, we said it last year after we come away with a win over there in Toombs County. We said it and we said, it's going to be a team to reckon with yes, the next sir. few years. Put a lot into this program. I know they had some kids transfer in. Uh, heard that. Yeah. Not sure the exact names of these young men. But I think the quarterback came from Robert Toombs or something. Okay. I know they had a kid come from Swainsboro. Yeah. And that happens. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, they moved. Hand off to – no. You got to hand off to Williams. He's in the middle. He's still – Shoot string tackle. They get back to the – Maybe the close – scrimmage, I think. Close to the line of scrimmage. 48 comes out yeah, with a helmet, helmet off. off. So, Should he's going to have to come out of down. And they've got him listed as a freshman, guys. If he is, this kid's all over the place. He sure is. Pirates are going to have to do something here. It's brought up third and 11. Bringing a big kid in for him. I think that's number 87. 
what it looks like. They still giving us man coverage out here. We got two men oh. over to the left side. Yep, moved it around a little bit. They're, yeah, they're threatening they're to showing, blitz. They're showing blitz on us, ain't they? Williams still in the backfield with Griffiths. Four man front for them. There's the snap. Griffiths looking to throw, looking to throw. He's got time. He's going to pull it down. And uh, he goes oh. down. He's felt the pressure yeah. on his backside. Too many people wisely. He went down instead of trying to force it in somewhere. For a loss in the play by number 79. That's going to bring up fourth down. The Pirates are going to have to punt here, David. Uh, we knew they had a strong defense. Yes, and they're sir. showing it. They're showing it. They, they were, that's what they're known for is that D. They're aggressive. Oh, they showed a lot of blitz there, too. And they then we sure caught on that blitz a little bit. But Well, we, we had time there, just no, nobody open. Uh, good secondary for Toombs County. All right. They got a man Toombs back. Toombs done their job. We got to do ours here. They got a man back at the 48. Griffiths to punt. Gets it away. Oh, Long, wow. Deep, what a deep kick. Deep spiral. Bounces. Goes out of bounds. Goes what, about the 38 yard line. Wow. Good kick by Griffiths. A spiraling kick, David. All right. They give them good field position. We're going to not have to give up too much of that tonight. Yep. Our defense this is going to be a strong team. These. What I have noticed of these young men, they they really have a passing attack. I uh, don't know if they'll come out with it, but uh, we've well, got they, to be they aggressive. Look like they did on the warm-ups over there. I, like I said, we were out here with the 12U football team on that and far you're right side. Back, and you're back in with another quarterback. It's a pretty stout young man. And they're showing us a little something here. They got three to the right side, one over here to the left, one long back in the backfield with that big, tall quarterback. Oh, and Pace man jumps. Snaps, fakes the hand off those little screen over low. Couldn't pick it up and hit immediately by Howard. A little low throw there. Gets out of the hands of that receiver. Nehemiah Howard. Nehemiah Fletcher. They Our go. defensive line is just as stout. And they go with no huddle. They're going to have to be prepared for our two ends, our two defensive ends. That's right. Three to the right, one to the left over here. Fake the handoff. There's a throw right there. Oh, it's in the air. Can we get it? We got a man. Oh, we get it. Number eight's got it. Let's go. Cameron Mobley with the interception. He is pushed out of bounds around the 20-yard line. What a job by Cameron Mobley. Did you say that? It's like you had to wait for it to come down. It was so high up in the air. It looked like it hit off his helmet. It did, and we had three players right here waiting for that ball to come down. What a job by your Pirates. Cameron Mega Man Mobley. Oh, one block. Was, He'd have been in the end zone, but a good tackle by that Toombs County player. That was so slow motion that I've ever it seen. It was. In my I life. mean, the ball's up in the air forever. Wow. Folks, if you don't think I get excited up here, you just, you're not paying attention. He does. Express me, bring chicken fingers up here. He gets really excited. <laughs> Even worse. <laughs> don't bring them brownies up here, boy. He'd go crazy. It's kind of like David teaching Geritol classes. <laughs> Well, there's our, our – uh, That's the only reason you don't show up, isn't there's it? There's our Lady Pirate pitcher. That is. Yeah. Who signed with Georgia this week. Presley. Super proud of that young lady. All our pirate Lady Pirates. There's a snap. Hand off, off up to Williams. Williams. He's, He's got some room over there. It. Oh, man. But it wasn't there for long. And they're trying to rip the ball out. A host of Bulldogs in there biting at his ankles and drag him down. But maybe, maybe a quarter of a yard. Yeah, I'm gonna game. tell you what, this um Toombs County Bulldog defense is aggressive. They are they are coming after us, yeah, David. They're. Looks like we're gonna spread them out a little bit. I love they're, to see a good defense, just not against us. <laughs> I tell you what, their linebackers are doing an excellent job against our front. All right, we do the same thing. We got two out to the right here. Eccles and uh Second and ten. Kinsey, ain't it? There's a snap. Griff's looking to throw. He gets Cam Hickox over. He hits him a great, hit immediately. Great seven-yard gain by Code Red over there. Yep. Actually, they spot him about a four-yard, six-yard gain. Yeah. Going to make it third down and four for the Pirates. Thinking when he spit around, his foot must have hit on that line. Could have. County 15-yard line. If he could have got out of that, he was home free. But the defender was right there, but a good throw by Dason Griffiths. Good quick throw. 
All right, it's third and four for the Pirates. We almost on the had 15. Them to jump. It looked like that linebacker's wanting to come. Play clock's 13. Got plenty of time to get the play in. Yep. Watching the lineup. Griffiths with the snap. Hands it off to Williams. Straight up the middle. Oh, he's got room. He could go. Oh, my goodness. Ball come loose. I believe the Pirates got the ball. He's calling him down there, David. They're snatching and ripping at it. We're going to have to protect. It's going to bring up first and goal for the Pirates. I'm sure the Pirates come up with it. Yeah, they're getting up. Pirates got the ball. Looks like they're going to go up to a hurry-up offense. I'm going to tell you, this is a tough Bulldog team. Aren't they? To grab that from that Jamari and Williams? I thought I seen it. Yeah, he grabbed him, spin it around. All right, it's and, uh, first and goal for your Pirates. Let's get up and get loud, Pirate fans. First and goal for the Pirates. County three-yard line. All right, Griffiths got his guys up to the line. It's first and goal Same on the back. Same setup, two to the right, one to the left. Three-yard line. Marion Williams in the backfield. And snap. He pulls it down. Oh, Jason he's got Griffin. it. Got he Jason Griffin, Griffin is going in. in for this. Touchdown, <laughs> Pirates. Jason Griffin takes it in for the touchdown. And there's the cannon. Your Pirates lead six to nothing here in the first quarter on your Village Pizza scoreboard. Look at your replay right here. Oh, man, I know this they is were good. expecting it. Right here, that guy read him and flew in. He grabbed Dason. Dason just pulled loose and smartly just dove in. Yeah, Dason's a tough young man in, in his own right. Now, here we go. Here's our, our uh, hero from last weekend, Alan Ramirez, to kick the extra point. Kick is up, and it's good. Right down the middle. Your Pirates now lead 7 to nothing here in the first quarter. We're going to take a break, guys, on your Village Pizza scoreboard, and we'll be right back with some Pirate action. Auto Owners ensures your small business because it isn't small to you. That's simple human sense. Ask James M. Swain and Associates in Baxley and Hazelhurst if Auto Owners make sense for you. All right, folks, we're back. Allen with a pooch, pooch kick, kick up here. Fair catch called and caught by number 25. Yep. A little extracurricular activity out there. That's Gavin All Fletcher. By number 25, Gavin About Fletcher. Yep. He, uh, outside the 30 yard line. they spot the ball around the 30 yard line. Is that correct? That's what it's looking like. You're going 31. Push. 31. Gavin right. Fletcher, he's a sophomore. All right, Pirate fans, it's time to get behind your defense and make some noise. Got to talk to my old friend over there, Pastor Stephen Toole, who is actually their chaplain for Toombs County. Oh, great. He's the pastor of Cedar Cross and Church of God over there. Great guy. All right. Toombs County takes over here, first and 10 from 31. That team's going to show two to the right, two to the left on the short side. We've got a man in motion. That's number one. Hands off to him. we got a man on Jalen Bennett's after Oh, him. my goodness. Gets him from behind. Somebody juice that bulldozer up. Oh, man. He walked by his eye before we come on the field introducing the 12 you down there. He was the last one coming out. And all our kids are looking up at him. Come on, how tall are you? <laughs> yeah, he's a big young man. He said, I don't know. <laughs> great smile. Great young, great, great young man, he I'm is. telling you. I'm telling you. Um, you know, we, we have nicknames for our young men, guys. If you're watching from, from Tombs, this is just something we started when we started doing this. And our kids love it. And we're going to continue to do it as long yeah, as we're able to do it. Jalen the Bulldozer Bennett. With a great tackle for about a three or four yard loss. Chris, Makes we got trips to to the left over here to, on our side. 
They got one man on the short side over there, one man in the backfield with them. That tall quarterback takes the snap. Hands, hands off. off right up the middle. But he's met immediately. And oh, I think man. number There's Jalen Bennett. Uh, Jalen Bennett. 45 and Mikael Creighton was in there. Was that number 45? Yeah, Edwin, Edwin Burke. Burke. You know, we got him a nickname. You know that? Yeah, what was that? Nope, I'm not going to give it yet. It's coming. Third down and about uh, oh, I 13. I remember what it is. That's right. I've got it wrote in. You thank Josh for that one, man. Yeah, Josh Josh Gardner is the, the culprit on that one. That's right. Pirate fans are on their feet. We need them there. We need all the racket we can get down here. Anything to get them discombobulated. All right, he's, he's stepping back to the pass. Throw. We're coming after. We got oh, pass Edward runner. Bauer had him. Oh, my goodness. It up deep. We got great overthrows everybody, and they're going to pull a flag. flag. That ball was overthrown, and they throw two flags. It was not even catchable. I don't know. He didn't even touch him. It was way over his head. Flag came in kind of late. Let's see what it is. I guess it's pass interference is what he's calling. We got not sure. Could have been offensive pass interference. He looked like he was going for the ball himself. but Unless he pushed off, but they're marking. They're moving the ball up, giving them a first down. I don't know. I don't know. How they give it pass interference, David. Pass yeah. Interference Looked like both men were going for the ball. That was a yeah. really quick throw on the flag there in my my book. And but the ball was way overthrown. It was 10 yards over his head. He's got to get back to playing, though, David. It's that first is. and 10. There's the snap. Hand off. He's up the middle. He got loose there for a few minutes. We finally wrestled him down, sling him backwards. And that's uh, Cameron uh, Mobley with the pickup and – Jamarcus Trey Robertson Moore. in there with him. Jamarcus Robinson at number 11, Nehemiah Howard. Give him a free one there, David. Yeah. It happens, though. It happens. It does. You got to keep playing ball. That's what it's about. And, of course, the official. There was two flags. So there was two officials through flags. So, you know, they saw something that we didn't see from up here. All right. Hand off again right up the middle. This young and, uh, man's still going, but he is tackled immediately. Yeah, but not before he gained a few yards. Maybe about three yards. That's number six for them. That is Davin, Davin, Wadley. Davin. Sorry, folks. Third and one. Third and one. They're getting a big push in that big front offensive line for Toombs County. Yes, sir. They've showed a lot of grit so far here. They're going to try to draw us, I think. Quarterback up to the line. Changing his play, I think. There's a snap. High snap. Takes it down to him. He oh, got the first he gets down. enough for a first down. Before the snap, we got a flag. Maybe a false start. Yeah, it looked like it was. Not sure what the call is. We're going to see. Offsides against County. They called it offsides on us, I think. I kind of wonder if we had somebody lined up. Yeah, I was kind of looking. It looked like he may have had somebody lined up offside. Another uh, mistake by the Pirates. You got to get, got to well, capitalize on We talked about it those. earlier. We can't. You can't, can't give make up too mistakes much, no, against sir. teams like this. All right, it's first and ten for the Bulldogs. Another high, high snap. snap. Pulls hands it off. down, hands it off, and uh, he's slippery, but we get him. I think he got him. Might have got him. Half a yard there, maybe? Yeah, about a half a yard, if anything. Might back to the line of scrimmage, what they're looking like they're marking it. Right back to the line of scrimmage. Before he's met by number eight. Yeah, they're back to, back to the line of scrimmage. No gain. No gain on the play. Second and 10. The 43 yard line. Bulldogs up to the line. They go with no huddle. He steps back too far, and that ball gets away from him now. We got some speed to get to that ball, David. We got two guys to the short side, Chris. One over here, kind of in. Another snap. Another handoff, high. number we eight. He's hit right immediately by several Pirates that in there. That might be a no gain there, too. Colt 45, number 45. Nice hell, you said it. <laughs> with the tackle, along with number 51, Jacquez Boogeyman Van. Number 51, Jacquez Van. Maybe a half yard, third down and nine for the Bulldogs. Yeah, they gave him a half yard. That's a a passing situation now. We're going to have to stay strong here. Yeah, nothing crazy. They're showing trips to the left side here. 
watching the defense and calling their plays. Got plenty of time on the Big, play call. tall, athletic quarterback for Toombs County. Takes a snap. He drops back. He's looking. We got pressure. Oh, there's Looked a like hole, we had a but hole. no call. No call, but we got people all over him. And a late hit, but no call. Uh, how do you not get a hook, and then how do you not get that? Not sure about that one, David. Yeah, Darion had him. It looked like somebody grabbed him and held him, but no call. It was a hook more than anything. Yeah, but it's fourth down. We threw him for a big loss. Yeah, about a seven-yard loss. Pirates will uh, regain the ball here, but we got to pay attention. They are in a position where, hey. Hey, you go something crazy. Anything anything can happen. Pierce has done it to us, and several have. So, we got to pay attention to the ball and the snap. They got – I got two receivers out, so you don't know what's going to happen here. I don't know who their punter is. I didn't see it. Oh, great snap. snap. Oh, we almost got great him. Great snap. We almost got him. And oh. they're going to throw a flag say we're roughing. I don't think that's enough for a first down, though, David. No, we had we had somebody coming in trying to block it and almost blocked it, and they're going to call roughing on us. Not sure if they get the ball back here or not, David. I'm not sure on that call. Yeah, let's see what we got going on here. Nope, defense is coming out. They're giving them the ball back. We got to stop the bleeding. Yep, we got to stop the bleeding. That was one mistake there after another. We've got to stop those mistakes, David. We've had them in some serious positions here, and we let them off the hook. I didn't think that was automatic. So that's going to give them a first down with the ball. Keeping them in the game, David. On the 34. So first and 10 now for the Bulldogs at the Appling County 34 yard line. Man in motion. Man in motion. Hands that running back. It's slippery. He got a little room. He's trying to get loose. We hit him. Jamarcus Robertson, I think, hit him first. Actually, I think you're right, Cameron Mobley with the hit. All right, guys, that's the end of the first quarter. Your Pirates lead on your Village Pizza scoreboard, 7 to nothing. We'll be back with some Pirate action. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense ask rents and rents insurance in baxley if auto owners make sense for you fans it is now second quarter seven to nothing your pirates on the village pizza scoreboard it is second and about uh seven for tombs county bulldogs the uh, first half for the first quarter david was a little bit yeah. self-inflicted wounds on the pirates Swap. got to do away with these mistakes swapped in now start Tombs playing county pirate football east there's a snap, high snap, hands off that running back and he dies oh, the, no the quarterback kept quarterback's it. quarterback got it he's, he's going loose. in for a touchdown no flags on the field here. Yeah, that quarterback fooled everybody. He just pulled it down and went in. We had a hold of him, but he got out of arm's reach. Yeah, hey, he, um, we give him that touchdown in that situation. You got three mistakes. We've had him four, mm-hmm. you know, fourth and 15. and We had him, and then we the make kicker, mistakes and just kind of like, here, take the ball until you score. Pass interference call, and then another call in third and long. And They're going to set up. Uh, that's you number. Got, you got to keep, get rid of those mistakes, David. You got to. Number 81, going to try for the extra point here. This is a strong Toombs County team, folks, I we promise you. It's the kick, it's up, and it's good. 
Good kick. Guys, ties the ball game up, 7-7. to seven. Braylon Dietrich. Guys, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back with some pirate action. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Folsom Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it. Do it. All right. Welcome back, Pirate fans. It's a tie ball game here in the second quarter. Kickoff's about to happen. 81's kicking the ball for Toombs County. High, deep kick. Deep back. kick. Backing up, fielded about the two. Is that Creighton? That is yes, Creighton. Creighton. He's got He's some running. Oh, oh, he was tripped him up. Tripped. And looks like a block, may have been a block in the back. Flag come in. I'm not sure what the call is there, but we do have a flag. They're throwing these pink flags. You know, this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and sometimes on this field it's hard to see that pink flag <laughs> with all the red and stuff. Got a little too much excitement down on the field. We've got to calm ourselves down and start playing pirate football, David. These yep. mistakes are going to eat us if we're not careful. It could cause us an L if we're not careful. That's right. Time to calm them down and make sure you got them, you know, where you need them again. Had a good return, and now we're backed up to the 10. Yeah, Creighton's got some speed on him. Oh, he's excitement every time he touches the ball. You give him a little crease and he's gone. All right, it's first and 10 for the Pirates from the 10. Got a long field to go here. Kenzie in the slot. Kellen Eccles out wide on the wide side. Cam Hickox on the short side. That's showing something. We pull it down. We hand it off to uh, Aaron Williams, the truck. He's still on his feet. Running backwards. Oh, my goodness. Still got a push. He's still 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 going. And they called him down. They brought him down. And he was still moving. They blew the whistle, said he, he was, was still moving. He was still moving and broke loose, actually. We got to get our heads in the game, though, David, on both sides. As you can see, he's still moving. He's still going. But that was enough for a first down. He still was going. And, uh, yeah, progress was still going. First down. Good job by the truck there to get a first down for they the Pirates. Turned him around and he was still paddling backwards. Yes, sir. Ball spotted on around the 23, 24 yard line, David. 24 yard line. And first and 10 for the Pirates. This is our first look at Trent Griner finally in the ball game. Got to talk to that young man before the game. Got some legs on him. If we can get him a hole, he could be gone here. Call him the bull. It's Hand a handoff. Off Griner made one miss. Oh, he tripped him Had up. Had a late hit in there, but no call. I think he was sliding into him, though. I don't yeah. think it was intentional. Oh, no. Just an observation, that's all it is. Just an observation. And a little to no gain. No gain. Back to the line of scrimmage. Had to give the truck a refueling session. Maybe he went down there to Murray Oil to get fuel, fuel back up. I'm telling you about that kid there. You get him fired up, he's tough. He's a tough back for the Pirates. And this one right here we got in there right now. Trent Griner is, too. Glad to see one of our offensive linemen, Mac, uh, Jalen Smith, Mad Dog, back on the field for the Pirates. I know he was uh, happy to be back. Second and ten. Snap. Hands off. No. Griner. No. Jason's got it. He's He's got some wheels. Can he go? He's still going. He runs out of bounds at the 35. Trickery on both sides, David. Yep. Both quarterbacks watching their – folks. He does it as good as anybody, pulling wow. that ball back and taking off with it. I think that's fast up ever seen him run. I, I believe mom's cooking down there in the, in the uh, corner down there. That's right. Mom helped him out. She, done, <laughs> she taught him everything he knows about playing football, you know. Yeah, I know she did. Got All to right. talk to his big brother, Dawson, earlier. Dawson's here tonight. Good deal. On the play for Appling County. All right, it's first and ten for your Pirates. Ball spotted on the 34-yard line. Let's see what we got in store here. 
A lot of running on both sides of the field tonight. Play clock's at 17. Jamari on 10, the truck. On Williams the clock. in the backfield with Griffiths. Hands off to Williams straight up the middle. Hit somebody hard. He did go straight at him. He got a gain of a bound. I think they're going to give him two. Almost like he turned his uh, high beams on and was trying to hit the hole. Well, he hit the hole and drove everybody <laughs> backwards. <laughs> a tough two-yard gain for uh, Jamarian. This kid right here, Jamarion Williams, punishes you. Yeah, you get in front of him, you get punished. Yes, sir. It's second and eight for the Pirates. Ball spotted on the 32-yard line. Jamarion is still in the backfield. We got two to the right over there. Eccles over here to the left by himself. Looking to throw a little screen over to Hickox. Oh, too low. Too low. He had a hole. And a gap over there that if he could have got that ball up in the air to him, Camden could have yeah. took off to the house. Think about Cam. He's <laughs> that speed. Need to bring him in a little closer on that throw. Going to bring us back to the line of – well, not the line of scrimmage, a loss of a yard or two. Yeah. Going to make it third and ten for the Pirates. So they called it a catch, didn't they? No, we were already at the line. All right, let's see what the Pirates have in store here. we got two to the left, one to the right. Jamarin in the backfield. 23 seconds on the play clock. 9-11 on the clock on your Village Pizza scoreboard. It's a tie ball game. Get enough yards to try and go for it on fourth and yep. whatever. Griffiths drops back and throw. Got pressure. He rolls out. Coming back to this side, he got a man, throws it. Oh, oh, just out of the fingertips of Jakari and Kinsey. He put a little touch on that, and Jakari's got that ball. Got a flag on the field. Let's see what the – it's going to be on Afton County. I would not take that flag if I was them. I think they're calling holding. Yep, and they said we held, and it's going to be declined. Got to get them pink flags off that field tonight, David. They are <laughs> they are killing us. They're killing us, huh? So we're in fourth down territory. We're going for it right here. I think it is in a territory where you need to. It's fourth and ten. The Pirates do have the offenses st still on the field. I think this uh, shows you what we're trying to do here. It is a region game. Yep. And they all count, David. 7-7 seven, seven here, 8.47 on the clock. 12 seconds on the play clock. Dason's getting the uh, play call in. Here's your snap. He drops, look, looks. Got a man in the middle. Somebody batted it away. I think that might have been number six. Number two, I believe. I think it was Wadley. Was it number six, Yeah, David? I think it was Wadley, number six, batted it away. Usually the middle is always open on that play a lot of times, yep. but they've done a great job on defense to take the ball back over. Toombs takes over. Now it'll be first and ten for Toombs on the 34-yard line. Our Pirates failed to, to get any uh, thing out of that. Yep. If we can uh, just get rid of that laundry on the field, I think we can uh, get back into this ball yep. game, David. I hope the laundry's done now. They put it in the dryer and we can – Continue yeah. <laughs> on and play football like we're supposed to. I agree. So we can't sleep on this team. We knew it from last year. That's right. First and ten. Toombs County do like us. They have no huddle. They'll look to the sideline. Play clock's down to 13. We got Trying plenty to of time. see that number to back is in the backfield with that big, tall quarterback. Got a man in motion. Come streaking over here. Hands it to the running back. Whistles blow, I thought. I heard a whistle blow myself, David. That is number Colt. six for them. Colt 45 had him. Looks like a loss, but. I thought they, I heard a whistle. I did. I heard a whistle. I don't see no laundry. No gain on the plate. Be second and ten. All right, Pirate fans, let's get behind this defense. All right, they got two to the short side. We got one guy over here on our side out wide. 
I think Grayson Hall is going to have him locked down. There's the snap. Right, he's he looking. It. There's that screen over there. Hits his man, number two. He oh, pushes he our pushes guy off. He's got room. room. He's, he's got room. He might go all the way. And that's a score for the Bulldogs. Yep. 14 Stanley's pass completes to number two. And that's a touchdown for Toombs County. I don't see no flags. No laundry on this one. He put a stiff arm out there, knocked our guy down, and just took off. We left him a cushion out there. All right, Toombs County leads in this ball game, folks. They come to play football. We come for the flags. <laughs> yeah. It's 13-7. to seven. Extra points fixing to be kicked Braden. here, David. Is it Dietrich? I believe it is. 6'2", 190-pound senior kicking. And there. Don't have enough men on the field, I guess. Yeah, they finally got somebody coming out. And they're going to call time out. out. First mistake of their, their time. Yep. We won't. I don't think we're going to go to break yet. Let them kick this extra point, and we'll go from there. No, we're going to stay right here, Cole. Wait. I um, don't think this time out will be long. It's the extra point. I think they're just trying to get their heads back in the game. Yeah, they had a man not on the field, and they finally run somebody out there, and I think they don't like what they saw, so they went ahead and burned a timeout to come on in. And so, Toombs right. County's coming back on the field, so we're fixing to play ball here again. Didn't uh, think it would be a long one. Point. All right. They're still lining up for an extra point here. Yep. Dietry to kick the extra point. There's snap. Kind of high. It's down. Kick is Almost up. Almost blocked. And it's good. By number 19. Is that right? For the Pirates or 13? I can't see that number. No, that was number 19. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to take a break. We're trailing 7 to 14. We'll be right back with some pirate action. Are you feeling tired or sluggish? Experiencing joint pain, changes in your hair or your skin? Have I got a solution for you? At the IV Drip Parlor, we can offer you the most effective way to get vitamins directly into your bloodstream, making you feel better and look better fast. We can't wait to schedule your appointment today or to see you just walk in. We are dripping with excitement to help you meet your best self. Come meet us at the IV Drip Parlor. Welcome back, Pirate fans. Great uh, pass by Toombs County there to uh, get a score on the Pirates. There's the kick. Up kind of close. We call fair catch. And we caught it on the 22. Fair catch called for and made. Got a flag, on, flag the on the play again. See who this is on. I believe that's Kyle Summerlin, the head judge, ain't it? I can't tell from here, David. I think it is. Got a flag on the field. I'm not sure what the call is. It's on us. First foul blocked below the knees. That's we cool. are still chopping ourselves in the in the foot there, and David. I don't know. It's way back. You know, back in the day, how they solved that is they said the next man down sits on the sideline. Yeah. These these penalties has got to stop. So what was a. Uh, we can't give up extra points with a good quality team like Toombs Pooch County. Kick moved us back to the six-yard line. Their defense is as strong as I've seen in, in, in this division so far. Oh, yeah. They're not giving up much and nothing deep. You know, we haven't taken any chances either. No. And they, they got players playing both ways. Number two I see out there playing both ways. Okay, Chris, here's what we're showing. We're showing um, Cam Hickox, Kellen Eccles on the same side, on that far right side. Nobody to the left here. Williams in the backfield. Griffiths takes the snap, hands it off to Williams, and he got hit immediately. 
He might have got to the line of scrimmage. Helmet comes off, uh, belongs to Jamarian. And that's going to bring Trent Griner back in the ball game. Had a whistle blown, but I keep hearing whistles, but nothing's happening. I don't yeah. know. Jamarian's helmet come off. Sounds like it's far off over there. I don't guess nobody's got a whistle on the other side. Um, one of their men had to come off, I believe. Yeah. Maybe an equipment thing. Yeah. Had two guys with the helmet. Had Toombs County guys' helmet come off also. There's the snap. Hands off to Griner. He got around the edge, but somebody hit him hard. That defense, they, they're, they're stacking us up there, David, pretty tough good. Tough to run on them. We keep running the ball at them. Uh, you know, with the receivers we have, I, I can't believe we haven't tried anything on the edges ourselves. Yeah. Trent got, got a few yards. I think he got a gain of about two. He comes out of the ball game. Jamarion Williams back in the ball game. It's third and eight for the Pirates. We're going to post us some receivers on each side now. Kellen Eccles on this side. Cam Hickox on the right side over there. Third and eight. Probably a passing situation here, I'm thinking. You know, this Toombs County team has always had some great athletes too, David. They sure have. And they're proving that now. Here's a snap. Pulls it down, drops back, looks to throw. He throws it up to Cam Hickox. Hickox is right there, got a man. He caught the ball, and it popped out. He's all over him. No flag. Everybody's wanting a flag on this side. Pirate fans are on their feet for that, but no call. Yeah. I thought Cam had it there for a minute, and the ball come flying out. Looks like we're going to be in a putting situation again. Yeah, that defense held up stiff. Pass is called incomplete on the play. It'll be fourth down for Athlon County. This is where it gets ugly out here, David. When no calls are going your way, you know, you got to keep playing, though. That's Dayson, the thing. Dayson had some pressure on him. Had to throw off his back foot. Kind of threw it up. Cam had to stop, and it's kind of like a jump ball. Dason can kick it a long ways to see if we can get a foot into it. No, no sir. He's off the side of his foot. Trying too much there, and I think the ball's going to be spotted around the 34, 35 yard line, maybe. Very un characteristic like with Dason doing that. Giving him great up field position. We don't need to go down 21 to 7 here, David. No. There's a flag on the far side, I think. Um, it's going to be on us. I think we roughed somebody. Let's see who it's on. I seen they had a player with a helmet off. I, Jamarion Williams was close by. I don't know if he was. Not sure I see the laundry. Yeah. It's been on our side mainly tonight. So Maybe offset. They're like both of them was mixing it up over there, so I'm not sure. We'll see what the call is here in just They're a minute. They're coming in and doing their job, and we're, we're making the mistakes right now, David. Yep, bad. A lot of uh, time out there. The officials are talking about it, trying to get it together. Not sure what, what we're discussing here, but... And here's the call. And it's going to be against us. Maybe they can give us a uh, explanation of what's, explanation going, on. what's going on here. I, I didn't a see anything. Signal towards our side. Personal foul. Timeout. We got to get control of this game, David. This is getting ridiculous here. I know the unsportsmanlike light was called, but, you know, we're not getting anything thrown. They, they yeah. Yeah, they called it unsportsmanlike, so I don't know what they're going to do. Do they replay the kick or 
they give them the ball 15 yards forward to the 20 yard line. Now's where you're going to have to dig and grind and kick and scrap for everything you got when you give up this kind of field yeah, position, David. Not. You put it hard on your defense when you do that. They're not helping our cause on anything. No, sir. I noticed Coach is down here speaking with the head official, and I'm sure he's giving him an earful, you know, look, you know, 90% of the flags have been on our side. Yeah. You know, w what are you watching? Are you watching us? Or, you know, and, I, and, I, and as a fan, that's what you say. You yeah. Know? But, again, these guys have a hard job to do down here. So, good time to have a little conversation with the head judge and, you know, get those things cleared up. A lot of emotions running. Yes, with sir. The kids it's, and all right now. This so is a this, big region know, game, either way you look of, at it. A lot of implications here. Yep. So they got the ball in good field position out here on the 20. There's a snap. Hands it off to the running back. He's still driving. The quarterback has the ball. David, another fake by him. Uh, was it? He yes, fooled sir. me again. Stanley on the quarterback keeper for the Bulldogs brought down at the good nine yard gain for him. TJ Stanley, the quarterback. Second and two. 6'3", 203 is what they've got him listed at. Oh, yeah, he's a good-looking quarterback. We're down there on the field down there and all. He just, he's just he got that look. Second and two. Ball on the 12. On that Village Pizza scoreboard. Thank you, David. See if the Pirates can hold him here. We need a mistake, but we're not getting too yep. many out of this quality team today. Watch that little score. All right, he's looking at man throwing at a man. Flag comes in. Pass incomplete on the play. Do have a flag. It's in a holding vicinity, but. And they're going to call it against us again. Yep, said we chopped him. Personal foul against Toombs County for a chop block. Oh, it's against yeah. Toombs. Okay. Yes, yeah, they called it against Toombs. You're going to be uh, the way our fans right. reacted. I was like, oh, no, not again. Well, chop block will bring you a personal foul, basically, penalty oh, yeah. of 15 yards. Uh, but that helped us out some. That backed them up a long way. We need about 10 more of them to uh, get them back yeah, down. Get them all back down here the other no, end. No here. offense, uh, Tombs get fans. Get them down uh, in front of the pirate head or something. All right, brings up there. second and 17 for Tombs. Pirates has got to stay strong in here with their defense. And they've been known to throw the ball. We're giving them a mighty big cushion out there. He's looking, looking. He pulls it down himself. Got he takes it. off by himself. We can't get him. Another hold, but no call back there. We knocked him out on that quarterback. Knocked him out on the – well, they going to mark him at the five. Quarterback just kept it and just run around the end. It's first and goal. Now they've. First and goal from the five yard line. First and goal. It looks like they may go out of a wildcat here. I've seen the quarterback sprint off the field. Yeah, I think this young man earlier, number eight, was in there, Hayden Roy. Yeah, it looks like he's going to take the snap. Our fans, got number six back there with him. Oh, he Takes the snap right and there. jumps, and I think they threw the flag. They caught him. He jumped. Obvious call there, David. Oh, yeah. They, the 12th man needs to show up here. Yep. Our Pirate fans need to learn to get on their feet and get loud, and we're just not doing it right now. Brings up first and goal from the 10 now. All right, Pirate fans, get on your feet and make some noise. All right, same setup. A big number eight, Hayden Roy, to take the snap. He high snap, he pulls it down. We stack him up. He'd be still on his feet. We finally get him. Trayshawn Moore. And number 11 in Nehemiah there, Nehemiah Howard. Howard. 
Mikhail Creighton. They're going to get out of that Wildcat and come back. Yeah. So it's, they give it back to the line of scrimmage. Thought he didn't make it that far, David. Well, from he, my he, I guess from he here. gave him four progress, but he busted loose and tried to run. So I don't know. So now that big tall quarterback's back in there. Second and goal. Wadley in the backfield with him. He takes the snap, hands it off that running back, and we turn him upside down. Block another. Burt, number 45 with the lick. Make it third and goal for Toombs. He hit the backside of one of his guards there and, and kind of knocked him down. I think he's being no, blocked into him. Burt hit him kind of sideways, spin him around. All right, party fans, get on your feet and make some noise. Well, Chris, this is a setup. They got trips to the right. One man way out on the wide side over there. Wadley in the backfield. Takes the snap. He's looking. He pulls it down. Oh, Spins goodness. around. Gets and around a the hold. And, and the there flag comes the is thrown. They were holding Howard uh, pretty bad there. Yeah, and I think they saw it and the flag come in. I Got three flags on that was there, a, David. He, that quarterback spin around and walked in for a touchdown. He had a hole a mile wide over there. Sure did. But a little bit of uh, grabbing there. Save that touchdown. We have not put no pressure on that. No, we can't yet. get to him. I mean, that that line's doing their job. They sure are. It's not a hold if they don't call it, David. That's right. They're big up front. Yes, sir. Going to be third down. Let's give a shout goal. out to Kevin Williams down there doing a fine job on the sideline for us. Can't do it. <laughs> Well, that backed them up a little bit. Third and ball on the 15. Looking, looking. He throws to the corner. Throws to he the corner. He pushes off, but it and is uh, no good. No flag. Great job by Mikhail Creighton. Going to make it fourth and gold. But fourth and 15, they're going to bring on the kicking team. That's the way to take the points. Back shoulder pass. It was a good throw. He pushed off. Throw, yeah. But they didn't call that. No. Nah. We had good coverage on him, though. Yeah, Mikhail had his uh, eyes towards the quarterback, so that was a great job by him. So this is going to be the ball is on the. All right, Pirate fans, get on your feet and make some noise for your defense. This is going to be like a 32-yarder, I believe, ain't it? All right, he's on the 22. Yep, that would be uh, that would be a 32-yard kick, David. Snap the hold. The kick is up. And it's Can't tell. Good. Yes, it is good. good. That makes it 17 to 7. Your Pirates trail here on your Village Pizza scoreboard. Pirates have got to come out and get some points on the board here in this uh before the half goes away, David. That's right. All right. We're gonna take a break. We'll be right back with some pirate action. Auto Owners ensures your small business because it isn't small to you. That's simple human sense. Ask James M. Swain and Associates in Baxley and Hazelhurst if Auto Owners make sense for you. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense ask rents and rents insurance in baxley if auto owners make sense for you. all right guys welcome back fire fans fair catch, call. fair catch called by number six come on here fair catch called for and made by number six yep. uh Kari kenzie with the catch 
256 left to play in the first half. Appalachian County will start this drive first and 10 at their own 21 yard line. All right, Pirates take the field. Toombs County coming out in that big defensive line defensive they've had. Line, they've right? got some speed on that defense too now. They're throwing everything but the kitchen sink at us tonight, I can tell you. I tell you what. That one kid right there, 64, 54, whatever, he looks like the house that the kitchen sinks in. Hey, it's a big youngin'. Young young yes, sir. All right, it's first and 10 for you Pirates. We're trailing. 17 to 7. We got Nehemiah Howard in the slot. Williams in the backfield. There's a snap. Hands off to Williams. He's got a little run room. He gets around the edge. Got, edge. got one man, puts his head down, tripped up. Number one, Jamar right. Williams on the carry. Enough for a first down. down. Stops the clock. Knock out of bounds by like maybe number one, Deshaun Deloach for the Bulldogs. But that'll be enough to move the chains. It's another Appling County. First down. They, you know, they've, they've kept our defense on the field majority of this first half. And yeah. That's that's a wise choice, too, David. Yeah, they're, they're playing smart ball. There ain't no doubt about that. we got to make something happen here. Not a lot of time left in this half. 2.48 on this Village Pizza scoreboard. We're trailing 17-7. to There's your snap. Hand off to Williams up the middle. Got past one or two, dove forward. Gain of about seven, eight. Tomorrow, Young Williams on the carry again for the Pirates. Gain of about nine, they say, on the play. It'll be second and one. No, they give him an eight yard gain. Yep. To make it second and two. Play, so, second yep. and two for Appalachian County at the Pirate 41 yard line. Got to show a little bit of sense of urgency, but not much. There's 222 on the clock. Get down and put some points on the board. We've had our opportunities, but we shot ourselves in the foot. There's the snap. Hands off to Williams again, but he's moving forward, David. Hey, I hope he got back. a gain of a yard, short of the line of scrimmage. Tell you what, they're getting through our offensive line there. Yeah, they're blowing through on us big time. It's a gain of about a yard and a quarter. <laughs> Going to make it third and short. Be a good time to get set and do that quarterback sneak to get your first down. It's Corey Kinsey in the slot now. Hand off to Williams. That's enough for a first down. Yep. Should stop the clock for the ball setting. That's going to move the chains. County first down. coming out. Number 13's coming in. Trent Griner, the bull. We got to get this ball snapped. We don't have a whole lot of time. Not a lot of time. Clock's running. Clicking down close to a minute. All right, we get the play call in. This is not a time to wait. No, nah, we're taking our time trying to call plays in Got instead of 46 still. yards to go. Snappy looking to throw, looking to throw. Got pressure on him. Rolls out. Still looking. Throws it out of bounds over here wisely. But a lot of time clicked off. Got a flag on the play. Nothing new to this game. <laughs> Hate to say that, but... Been kind of the norm so far tonight. Uh, looks like Dason might have took a lick. I don't think we've had this many uh, flags in six games. Uh, nah, that's a lot of <laughs> flags. <laughs> yeah, ineligible on us, so they're going to back us up. Five yards. I think what happened is when he crossed the line of scrimmage and come back over, yeah. That is an in ineligible, and he should have just kept running, David. Yep. And we should use our timeout to stop the clock. 53 seconds here on your Village Pizza scoreboard. Pirates trailing 17-7. to seven. It's first and 15 for the Pirates. We're going to hand off to Trent Griner over Trent here. Griner. He cuts back, but there's no room, but They're he's still moving the forward. A little late whistle on that. Another flag on the play.
And that's going to be against us also. Holding the call uh, against Affleck County. Well, I guess we could have brought our own flags if that had been we could do this. <laughs> <laughs> been a flag of play yeah, everybody throws on flags. offense every, 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 every so flag. often. <laughs> definitely don't look like a timeout call by the Pirates. We're going to take a break with them, guys. We'll be right back with some Pirate action. Community centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Falls from Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it too. All right. Welcome back, Pirate fans. It's first in a mile. Maybe first in Dairy Queen from here. Uh, looks like it. That's Arby's. Uh, <laughs> Arby's. Uh, Dairy Queen's a little further. Yep. They got it first and 25. We have got to get in that locker Trip room. Right. We got two to this side. Find that out. little screen over there to Eccles. Gets out of bounds. Gain Clock of Clock still run a couple of seconds off before they got it stopped. Gain of about eight. We got 39 seconds. We need to come away with some points one way or the other, David, yeah, get here. Get down there and kick a field goal at least. Because they deferred. Second and 15 after the game of 10 on the play. A lot of mistakes, folks, if you're just joining us. Uh, a lot of uh, flags on this first half on we the Pirates. We've had a lot of penalties. A lot of penalties. All right, we got trips to the right, two to the left. Second and 16 for the Pirates. Man in motion, little toss. Oh, Toy we got some good blocks the there. He's on his feet still. He's still on his feet. Trying to get out of bounds. The ball went out of bounds. That's enough for maybe a first down. He's really close. Really close there. I think he's short. No, he is short, David. Ball goes out of bounds. Stop the clock. He's about two yards short. Going to make it third. 33 seconds on the clock. It's third and about two and a half. Although they don't show that on our clock. I think they got it marked on the... Can't do half yards, can we? No. They got him marked on the 46. <laughs> got to open up the playbook here, David. Not, we're not desperate, but we do need the playbook opened up a little got bit. Got to get the clock stopped. Got a man in motion over here. There's your snap. He drops back looking, looking. Throws it up deep. He got Kellen Eccles right there. Overthrew it and intercepted. Intercepted by Toombs County. On the 10. God is kind of quiet tonight, David. They're doing yeah. everything right, and we're doing everything wrong tonight. And Toombs County brought a bunch of fans over here. They sure did. Hey, kudos to them. They're standing around the fence and everywhere. Theirs is up cheering for their team, and ours is sitting down. I, I'm going to have to get on to our Pirate fans. That, this has got to stop. We were over in Pierce, man. I'm telling you, we were, we were loud and proud, and tonight we're not. Well, let's see what we're going to do here. See what Toombs is going to do. See if they're going to sit on it and let the clock run out. And are they going to try to? That would be the smart, smart thing to do. Oh, we got them back. You know you're deep. getting the ball back. You're leading 17 to seven against a strong team here in the Pirates. We're just kicking ourselves in the foot, David. Yeah, and, and they are. Looks like they're they're going in a victory formation. Just take a knee. 
and they did. They're going to take it to the house with, or take it to the locker room with a 17-7 lead, I believe. Did the clock start? It is. It now, is going. It just started now. Clock never started a while ago. So now it's running. So they've got enough time, and it's going to end the now first we're half. All right, folks, this is not the first half of play we wanted to see, but maybe we can get in the locker room and make some adjustments. See what we do. Guys, it's, we're pirate. pirates are trailing 17-7. to 7. Got us stumbling a little bit, yeah. don't they? Mistakes, mistakes. Mistakes, 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 David, and you got to get rid of them flags. And they've took advantage of it. They have taken advantage of every single one of them. Folks, we're going to have the Bulldogs um, band uh, take the field. Uh, we're going to the Red Coat band uh, is going to be taking the field. And we're going to stay live for both uh, both bands tonight, for the Red Coats and the Applin County Pirate Brigade. And we're going to be uh, commercial free yep. and live, and you won't you won't hear neither one of us talking during. Thank the, goodness, you're yeah. going to enjoy these bands. That's true, brother. Both of these bands. Not the first half we wanted, David. wasn't expecting this. No, uh, it, it was um this. Like I said, it's um you take the mistakes away, and it's a different deal. It is definitely um, a different deal, David. And you not got taking nothing against away from Teams County. No. They, they've come here to play. Absolutely. They're a real good team. Absolutely not. No, no, no takeaway from them, David. As mistakes is what's kicked us in the foot. Yep. Maybe we can go in and make adjustments in the locker room. Maybe the coaches can can find out what's going on. But you know that was a heavy flag dose on us, David. And it's, it was. I it mean, was it pretty was like hard. Every other play was a flag. Hard to accept that kind of. Uh, well, it's uncharacteristic of pirate football. Yeah. Um, and uh, and it happens. Sometimes. It's like when it's when it rains, it pours. It does. All right, guys. Here we go. Okay. Well, we're, we're gonna go. Uh, Commercial free, and here we go. Principals Marissa Morris and TJ Mercer. We welcome you to Red Coat Halftime.
Soviet Union. 
These two nations competed for superiority in technology, science, and space travel. This essentially ended with the landing of men on the moon by the United States in 1969. History now defines these events as the space race. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth.
tired or sluggish? Experiencing joint pain, changes in your hair or your skin? Have I got a solution for you? At the IV Drip Parlor, we can offer you the most effective way to get vitamins directly into your bloodstream, making you feel better and look better fast. We can't wait to schedule your appointment today or to see you just walk in. We are dripping with excitement to help you meet your best self. Come meet us at the IV Drip Parlor. ensures your small business because it isn't small to you. That's simple human sense. Ask James M. Swain and Associates in Baxley and Hazelhurst if auto owners make sense for you.
insure your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you. Community centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Folsom Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the Baxley and let's do it. Do it. Are you feeling tired or sluggish? Experiencing joint pain, changes in your hair or your skin? Have I got a solution for you? At the IV Drip Parlor, we can offer you the most effective way to get vitamins directly into your bloodstream, making you feel better and look better fast. We can't wait to schedule your appointment today or to see you just walk in. We are dripping with excitement to help you meet your best self. Come meet us at the IV Drip Parlor. All right, welcome back, Pirate fans. We are fixing to start a second half of a ball game. Uh, uncharacteristic, we're trailing 7-17 seven to 17 here against Toombs County. A lot of mistakes in that first half. I'm hoping they come yes, in and make lot. some adjustments and get our Pirate fans on their feet. Uh, need a little bit of excitement. We are you know, we, kicking the Toombs right here. Yes, sir, they get the ball back here in the second half. Uh, need to... Alan Ramirez... Set the kick, and there's the kick. Up short, pooch kick. Fielded at the 26, 28. Bouncing off people, number 25. We tackle him at the 35. 35. That was a dangerous uh, no-call fair catch. Uh, yeah. You don't want to do that too many times. Yep, hey, um, but they, they're smelling blood right now, and they're going to try. I guess, sir. I, you know, I think I would open up the playbook a little bit and mm -hmm. Take some chances because we've got to stop them and get some scores on that board. David. Well, we've There's had them stop several times, and we shoot ourselves in the foot and then give them the ball back. And uh, so now let's see what our defense can do. Uh, come in at the second half here. and They'll take it over on the 36-yard line. It's first and 10. And some of our park fans seem like they're getting fired up now, so that's what we need, that 12th man. They got two to the left, one to the right for Toombs. Quarterback's been a general for to Toombs oh, tonight, yeah, that David. DJ Stanley, I mean, he got is. Got a new running back back there, David? I, I, I can't tell. I can't see the number, so I'm. Stanley looking at those little screen over it. Got his man. He got some blocking out front. Runs into a crowd, but not before he gained about five. But got a pink flag a on flag the field. Come in. That he wrapped one holding. of our defenders up a little bit over there, David. You get the call. He's right there on top of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's going to be on Toons County. It's going to back them up, holding on Toons. Um, earlier, you know, we got to come out before the game started, bring players, direct players out and stuff. You know, we coached 12U and stuff, and it was real good to see. And and uh, not only did our Pirates come out <coughs> and come across and, you know, kind of slapped hands with our little players and all the players, but Toons County players come across and done the same hey, thing, a, which I thought was a class act. It is, buddy. That is the way but, it should be done. But, <laughs> As well, announcers yeah. and fans, sometimes we goof up with this, but – you know, we, we really know what sets the presidents, and that's being, you know, uh, sportsmen and having good sportsmanship. And, yep. you know, well, we sometimes become fans. All right, it's first yep. and 15, five-yard holding call from the spot of the foul. 
Toombs has got two to the a, left, or one, two to the right and one to the left. There's a snap that quarterback. He keeps it, drop, pulls it down, but we get him. We get him. Number 45, Colt right. 45, Edwin Burke. Uh, Van was in there. Juggy Manny Van. Got his van number 55, Jalen Bennett. Pirates defense knows what's at stake here. They're but, trying to get off those blocks. Uh, but talking about it, too, when we come, started going off the field, the Toombs County cheerleaders lined up, and our little 12-year, they had their hands there slapping the hands. That's the biggest smiles you've seen on a bunch of 12-year-old boys. <laughs> Pretty cheerleaders. <laughs> hey, can't blame them. Smart young men. Thank you to them Toombs County cheerleaders. Yes, sir. Over Thank you all. They made them boys' day. <laughs> great show of respect on both sides. Yeah, it sure was. A great. All right, second and 15 for Toombs. you got two to the right and one to the left. And snap, he's looking to throw. He's got people downfield. He's got plenty of time. Throws it over at number five. Open field. We wrap him up. He's still trying to get loose. And that was number 10 for the Pirates, uh, Michael Moy with the tackle, but a gain of about six yards maybe. It's the first we've called his name tonight. I'd like to see Moy come alive. I'm going to make it third and uh – Second and nine, third and nine, yeah. Yeah, we make sure him hemmed up a little bit shorter, but he real elusive. Him. Uh, we young man. wrap him up and start with. All right, Pirate fans, you know what to do. It's time to get on your feet and make some noise. It's third down. All right, third and nine. They got trips third to the left. Nine. Got to watch that quarterback. He's a good quarterback. I'll tell yeah, you what, yeah. I'd match him up against that kid from Pierce any day. He, he's a heck of a ball oh, yeah, player. He's a real good ball player. He draws back real calm, throws it up. He's good going deep. Hard ball. He's got a man over there. He caught and the ball. And he catches it. His helmet goes off. That's a first down. He's out, but that kid is just playing hard ball on our number 19 tonight, Grayson Hall. They're all over him tonight. That quarterback just cool and calm back there and threw a strike. And they're they attacking him. First down, and they're threatening here again now. They're, they're down on our side of the field. Again, we get them in third and long and just can't get out of it, David. And we knew they could throw the ball, and that's what he's come out doing. Hand off. Hand off that time. We stack him up, and they got a big push from that big line. Whistles late there. We got a ball, but I don't think they're going to give it to us. Let's see what they're going. I think the whistle blowed before he come out of there with it. Called him down. Gain of about three yards makes it second and seven. They're threatening to score again, David. This is something we can't afford to give up here. They got that big number two, Lagonzo Hayward. Over here, man-to-man -man coverage. Oh, it looks like a little false he start. He draws back to throw. He throws it over the top. Man falls down. Oh, they throw wow. a flag. He trips over our man, and they give him the flag. And they might throw. They might wipe that off. That right there. They no, sure. He's not picking it up. They might. He call did call a pass interference on us. Again, the laundry just keeps flying, David. We got to yeah, get rid of this. Look like a, just a trip and fall down, but he's, let's see what happens. They going back. They going to give him a penalty. The this is kicking us in the foot, man. I'm telling you, yeah. brother. This is a. If you're a fan, uh, this is hard to watch. I'm. I'm sorry. This it is really just is. Not a call going our way tonight, and uh, just yeah. the mistakes keep piling up on us. This is uncharacteristic. That's a first down, and then. This is what we definitely didn't want right here. Yes, sir. This is uncharacteristic of us. Uh, all right, it's first and uh, 10 from the 20. Pirates need to come with a takeaway here. Pirate fans are not on their feet. We've got to watch that quarterback. He's going to pull it. Nope, he kept it. He handed it off. Pirate fans tack or Pirates tackle him. But he gains of uh, probably about four yards. Yeah, I'm sorry, the ball is spotted on the 15-yard line, David. Well, he's playing small ball. That big offensive line they have. There's a snap. Hands it off, and he runs hard up the middle. We grab him and sling him backwards. I think it was Jalen Bennett got him, wasn't it? Who was that got him? Number 11, Nan. Nehemiah Howard. That's right. And Jalen Bennett. Yep. 
see Van coming out. Bennett coming out. Kel Reed in the ball game. And who else we got coming? Cameron George. It's time to get loud and get on your feet. Well, let's stop them here and hold them to a field goal attempt. Or either a takeaway right here would be great. Their mistake by the end would only be good for us. That's right. They got a man in motion. There's the handoff straight up the middle, still on his feet. I think he may he, have had enough have for first, first down. down. Yep. I think they, he does. It's going to be first and goal. Yes, yeah, sir. So they run to the weak side over there. Bennett was out of that play. I think a helmet may have come off. Heavy dose of run. Cameron George out of the ball game. Bennett coming back in. They've been all over our defense tonight, David. They sure have. This is, uh, like I said, we're not used to seeing this right here. And this quarterback's bad about pulling it and going around the edge. He's good at it. And he's hard to catch. Quick. And he kept it. No, he didn't. He handed it off. We stack him up. And they blow the whistle. They still give him a gain there, David. That was number eight, Hayden Roy. Now Hayden Roy is a sophomore, six foot, 170 pounds. Right inside the two. All right, Pirate fans, let's do our part. Let's get behind this defense. All right, Toombs County back up to the line. Be a good time. We got two out. For them. Second down. Quarterback takes the snap. Hands it off. He dives up. He's we short. Him. He is short. But a great leap by that young man. He tries to dive over like the old Herschel Walker dive. And we. That's a dangerous play there, David, well, to we do. Snatched him down. If somebody would have had the like-minded to hit that ball when he was stretching it out. Gonna be third and goal. Yep. All right, Pirate fans, get on your feet and make some noise. False start would be great here. Anything to help us out. Third and goal. Nothing Ball has went our way tonight, there. I can tell you. See if we can keep his goal line stance up. Snap. He runs again, and we hit him again. Dragging and he's backwards. held, guys. He did not make it in. Jalen Bennett. Holds him. It's going to be fourth and one. See what they're going to do. They may try to do it again. They may try to punch it in, or they're going to go for the points. Looks like they're going to go for the points, but don't be fooled here. No, sir. Watch the ball. Don't be fooled. Anything can happen. They still got their quarterback out there. Number 14. Yeah, he's the holder, so don't be fooled. Pirate fans, make some noise. Kicker 81. Dietrich. Snap, the hold, the kick is up, and it's good. Yep, it's a good ball. It gives a 20 to 7 uh, lead here for Toons County, folks. Right. We're going to take a break with them. The Pirates trail here on your Village Pizza scoreboard. We'll be right back with some Pirate action. Third quarter. Your score, Toons County 20. Auto Owners insures your small business because it isn't small to you. That's simple human sense. Ask James M. Swain and Associates in Baxley and Hazelhurst if Auto Owners make sense for you. Pirate fans, we're back. Uh, we didn't give up a touchdown there, but we'd give up points. It's 20 to 7. Your Pirates trail here against this strong Toombs County Bulldog team. They've and they've given, they've given us everything we wanted. They did last year, too. And a lot of laundry. 
Yep. There's the kick. Kicks it up short. Fielded by Kenzie. He's on his feet. He's still running. Oh, great Good run return. back. Up. Makes it to about the 46, 45 yard line. A flag comes in over here now. And that's going to be a sideline, I think. Was that on our player? Was that on a coach? I'm not sure. I, man, I was hoping there was, was no other flag would come over in. Here. But my gosh, brother, I, I, it's hard to watch this. You think it's hard to watch at home? You ought to be here. Yeah, you ought to be here. This is <laughs> nothing against these guys, but they have, they've uh, kept them flags on the ground a lot tonight. Let's see if we can get what the call is. I don't know. And they're bringing it back. No. Why are they moving the ball? That's what I don't understand. Call was on us. Sideline warning. And no war I mean that's a warning, it's not a, a warning penalty. Against the pirates is a sideline interference. Sideline interference. Interference, okay. A little bit of clarification. A lot of mistakes on, on our sidelines tonight, yeah. brother. We gotta get rid of them. Well, we're gonna go out of a wildcat or a hammer what they call it here. There's Williams. Jamari and Williams with a great run About there. Six yards. We've got to get a score, David. There's there's just not any excuses yeah, not to score here. Five. Score and score a lot and score off. But we got to shut this Toombs County offense down. Yes, sir. All right, we're going to get a little hurry up here. Still in that uh, wildcat formation. Jamari on Williams to take a the snap. They're stacking up. They're coming. Whips, oh, he runs feet. over he when he's got his up. feet. He's put it in his left hand. He pushes a guy down. But he gets him by the ankles. That was number five, uh, Mike Polk, with the tackle. But not before Jamarin runs probably about 25, 30 yeah. yards there. Big first down for your Pirates. That'll be enough for another Appalachian County. All right, the Pirates are putting the nail, in, you know, putting the hammer to the nail. First and 10, Pirates, ball on the Toombs County 36-yard line. All right, we got Ed Williams back there, Trent Griner, and Jamarion Williams. Sticking to our guns there, David. Same thing. This is the gun. Takes the snap, running that right side, back up the middle. So they hit him. He got up about a yard, two yards. One, Great one, penetration yard. by that line. Our offensive line has got to get off of him and get him out of the way. Yeah, we got to get a push up from that offensive line. Gain of a yard for Jamari in the truck. Williams. The good hole they done on that last play. David, we need that again. Yep. Second and eight for the Pirates. We line it up. 245 left in this third quarter. Snap. He runs that right side. Got a hole. Somebody come in and hit him pretty hard. One, Jamari on Williams. County. Gain of about four or five yards. About five on the play. It'll be third and four. At the third and manageable for the Pirates. Yep. Being in this hammer uh, or wildcat, as we call it, David, uh, has kind of settled down a few things. Maybe we can stick with this for well, a minute. It's third and four, and we got to get a first down right here. Tell you what. First down will be big. There's your snap. He runs to the left side this time. He's got, got a through, hole. Got the first down. That's I the think. first down, Pirates. Jamar and Williams, the truck. And they're going to signal for the change to move. Let's hurry it up. Let's keep it going, David, don't yep. you think? Yeah, we ain't got a lot of time left in the. First down. First and 10 for the Pirates from the 25 yard line. Playing this Toombs County Bulldogs, who are undefeated, aren't they? Yes, sir. They are 6-0. and oh. The truck taking the load here. As a snap. Tacey runs that left side. He's got Oh, he's got a hole. He's he could go. He could go. He's in for a touchdown. Pirates. The 
truck has scored. Maybe that's the momentum we need, David. The Pirate fans are finally on their feet. Maybe a little excitement in the stands. If we can keep them on their feet tonight, maybe we can get the momentum we need to get this score back on top of the Pirates' way. Great job by Jamarian. Alan Ramirez here to make it a six-point ball game. Snap, the hold, the kick is up, and it's good. On top of the building, that's 14-20, your Pirates lead here in the third quarter. All right, guys, we got a little bit of fire here on your Village Pizza scoreboard. We'll be right back with some Pirate action. Insure your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you. Folks, we're back. Pirates just score. Makes it a 14-20 ball game. It's now become a ball game. Yep. This may be the stretch we need for the Pirates. Maris yeah. with a short pooch kick. Player running over. Oh, he's almost it. it. We're that could be what we need. But I think they recovered it. We were right there at it. Wow. We'd like to have a break. Just a clear shot at We'd it. We'd like to have a break. Oh, wow. I have the Bulldogs there. Good job by number two for the Bulldogs there. But Gonzo Hayward recovers it. It hits him in the chest and bounces the ball, off. And we were right there at the top of him. He pounced on it immediately. Fell forward on the ball. All right. It's uh, County not waste no time coming out here. All right. Let's see what Bubba Walker draws up here on this defense to yep. see if we can stop them. But they're a powerful team, fellas. Gavin Fletcher out wide for them over here. Not real wide. They looking at him. Throw a little screen there. We wrap him and up. And Grace in the hall wraps him up. Not before he gains of about uh, three or four yards there. But a good wrap up by Grayson. He was on him before he could turn. Uh, they tried that man to man. Saw him had a man coverage out there. Threw that little screen on him and. Grayson stayed home and played him. Looks like you're going to put trips over here to the left side and a single over here to the left. They are looking to be in a passing. Here, David, if we can get a penetration with our line. Yeah, we have not put no pressure on this quarterback yet. Snap, handoff, squirted through for about, oh man, he come close to a first down. I uh, think he's a little short, maybe a yard. He's right at it. Not sure what they're going to call here. Uh, there, he's right at it. They're calling the first down. Yeah, they, they give said it. he had a first down. They give no it measurement doing. whatsoever. Pirate fans not happy about that one. That was really close and no measurement, so. All right, guys, we're going to take it into the third quarter. The Pirates are trailing. It's 20 to 14. We're going to the fourth. This is a ball game. Good Lord, we couldn't handle another one of these, but we're going to go through another nail biter, David. I guess so. All right, we'll take a break with them. We'll be right back with some Pirate action. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy.
football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Folsom Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it. Do it. Football is all about teamwork. Every player does. All right, we're back, folks, and we got a right. running back. Uh, he's got the ball over here to the right side. Number six. And he stopped. I Before didn't. Before he gets a long run, a first down. No, no, no call. A little no bit of hold, hold over right there on that he side. He got around and was running. Treshawn Moore missed him trying to get him from behind. We finally hit him and knocked him out of bounds. First and ten for Toons. They got trips to the left, single over to the right. Quarterback takes snap, high snap, hands it down, dumps it over the middle to number one. He's still on his feet. Another first down. They're throwing everything but the kitchen sink at us, David. I can tell you that. Pass complete on the play by Stanley. Enough for a first down for the Bulldogs. The first and 10, Toons County at the Pirates. We're going to bring Cam Hickox in on defense. Are we? Yes, sir. Hickok's going to cover this number oh, two right you, here. This speedster. What do we do here? It looks like a false He's start, looking, but they didn't call it. And he throws it up that corner and hit his man. And another flag. I don't get it, David. I swear. I've <laughs> the flag was around the, in that corner, wasn't it? Got a little fan there. Sorry let's, about that. Let's see what, see what the call. Let's see what wow. the call was here. They call him pass interference on the Pirates. There's another flag on the play. It is holding the call against Athens County, but it is declined. It's declined. Going to make it first and goal for Toons. Yeah, so now, yep, because he made the catch, he declined. He moved the ball up. All right, Pirate fans, it's time to get behind Toons County threatening right again. First and ten. A first and goal right here. The official's still talking over there. And they're going to respot the ball and move it closer to the goal. And they're going to move it to the two-yard line. I don't get that call. He said that's where he caught the ball at and went out. But he didn't catch it. The ball didn't – he didn't catch the ball, David. It went out of bounds. Yep. But uh, I'm, that's what I I'm a little shaky on this one, my friend. Toombs County threatening the score here. Quarterback keeps it. Jaylen oh, and Bennett, a great he, job by Jalen Bennett. Another flag comes in on this side now. Got to be a false start on them. You know that saying about party favors, they're flying in. <laughs> laundry is still folding around. Somebody left the laundry door open. Right here's the replay. Let's see. I'm trying to see. Got to be a side. hold right there. That yeah, was off to this side. I, can't, I didn't 79 see. 79 has been uh, all over five tonight for the Pirates. And that's going to. That's been County going on all night, but it's up. not being called, David. But, hey, it's finally got a call when we needed it. We'll back the Bulldogs up 10 yards, and it will be first and goal now from the 12-yard line. All right, it's first, first and goal still. Got to get off those blocks. All right, Tombs County. Two men in motion. This is odd. They run to the side over here. Number eight took the snap. 
dumps it over the top. Had a man. Oh, it is intercepted. He intercepted. Kevin Hickox taking go to the house. Great job by Kevin Hickox. That's the break that the Pirates needed. Kevin Hickox comes in and does the job that we needed happening. Look at this play. Yes, a little trick play. Throw it in. Kevin Hickox read it all the way. Come in from a safe position. One block, and he Code was gone. They would never run him down. Code red with the interception. That's the fire the Pirates needed. Put your playmakers in there as you need, David. And Camden showed why he should have been on that field. What a job Smart by your Pirates. Move by Bubba Walker to bring him in in defense. I have to give kudos to this Toombs County team, man. Man, they're unreal. I, I, you know, it's hard not to be a fan sometimes when you're doing this, but – Man, these guys are awesome. Well, I'm I, telling you, they well, you have know, brought the house to it. the Pirates tonight. You know, I sit there and said it. I, I'm, you know, I, I, um, I, 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 um, you know, nothing, not taking away from Pierce County, mm-hmm. but I said I was more afraid of them. I'm more afraid of Toombs County than I was Pierce. All right, we're gonna come back out in that snap time. Play clock ticking down. We got to take the snap. There he goes. That was uh, Nehemiah Howard. And they're trying to take the ball away no from him. No whistle being blown. I don't hear one up here in the house. We like to let play clock run out on that one. I think they gave him a gain of a yeah. yard. The snap was up here. Nehemiah Howard almost ba- really about caught it behind him, didn't he? Good job by Nehemiah. Got by, right by his head, and he held on to it. That's some great hands of his. Williams back in the ball game to take the snap. Second and nine for your Pirates. 9.20 on the clock. There's the snap. Runs to his right. Bouncing off of people. Gain of two, three. Going to bring up third and uh, about seven or six yards. Good time to get that ball hiked right here. We're moving people around. We only got one receiver right here, Kellen Eccles. Williams with the snap, trying to get in the middle, but they stack us up. No gain. Not the play we wanted right there, David. Uh, We're going to have to be in a – see what we're going to do here with fourth down. Going to have to punt it here and put the ball back down the field, David. Yep. About four on the play. Got 27 seconds on the play clock. Got to get the punt team out. And look who we have coming out to punt the ball. Play clock ticking down. Eight, nine. We're not going to get – well, we did get it off in time. Oh, we're going to throw. We got a man out there. Oh, He's it is enough for a first, first down. down. Kellen Eccles in our quarterback, number 12. Well, not Colin E. Walston, Mr. Bullseye, yes, throws sir. it in there for a first down Pirates. What a job. Second effort by Kellen Eccles right here. Look at this pass right here. Kellen Eccles with it. Two guys hit him. He stays on for three guys, four guys. Wow. That was all Kellen Eccles right there. Good this job. This is knowing you want to win the ball game here. That was a do or die call right there. Hey, it was a great call. Play they call always say you're a down. hero or a zero on calls like that, right? That's right. right. Jamari on the truck. Williams takes the snap, runs to his left, bounces off of people still on his feet. Get hard in there by number 23. Jamari Williams on the carry for Appling County. Alex Scott. Gain of one. Gain of about one on the play. Tell you what, these freshmen don't look like freshmen to me. Uh, <laughs> tell you, this is going to be a team to reckon with them. Yes, sir. These Bulldogs, I'm telling you, they have brought the house oh to, to Appling County. All right, it's second and nine for the Pirates. You got to get those wheels Mario a turn. Williams once again does. trying again. He gets to the outside. He got a little He's running got some room. room. First down and then some. 
That's going to be a first down, Pirates. On the carry for Athlete County. Taken out around the 46-yard line. Time to change the wheels a little bit here, David. The chains is enough for another Athlete County. First down. Going right at him. Nehemiah Howard in the ball game. I think give Jamarion a little breather here. Trent yes, Griner. Had to go get his tire changed a little bit. Add Big some fuel. Number four, that's Ed Williams in there. Nehemiah Howard back to take the snap. Oh, I think we jumped. We jumped. Yes, sir. That was a jump by the Pirates. Uh, It'll be a five-yard penalty. Some momentum killer. Trying our best not to do this, but. Looked like that whole left side moved. It did. You got to watch that ball. But I'll tell you what, this defensive line from Toombs is no joke. They, they have gotten <laughs> a lot of penetration on their offensive line. Yeah, they're huge. Oh, a quick snap. Can Nehemiah we have a hole? Again. Nehemiah's on his feet. Can he get around? He He's could. Still around, guys. Oh, my goodness. What a great tackle by number six. Number 11, Mr. Wadley, he saved a touchdown. Yes, he did. What a great block there by your Pirates. After that run, that'll be enough for another They wouldn't have held him up there. That was a great oh, job on that goodness. defense. Marion Williams right, back in the ball game now. Take the snap. First and ten for your Pirates on the 33-yard line. They're staying in this hammer. Takes the snap. He runs his right. Bounces off. Spins. Still on his feet. Still oh, he's on still his on his feet. Pushed him out of bounds. Around the 30-yard line, maybe 29. No, they're going to mark him to 30. That was a hard three that he got. Tough gain of about three on the play. It'll be second down and seven. That was a lot of spinning and bumping. It looked like a pinball machine out here. Great blocking there by your pirate line. Keep the ball now moving. Trent Grinder going to take the snap. The bull. Grinder with the snap. Straight, straight, straight up He's got room. He's got a red Oh, guy. what oh. a tackle there by number five. Number Mike five. Polk. He was seen in zone, and number five just dove in there and knocked him down. It's about shy of, about one shy of a first down, ain't he? Yes, sir. He's one step away from a touchdown. He sure was. Hey, I got me a Pirate fan here in front of me, David. I just, see that. I see that. a smile to my face, and I love it. Little wreck player there with his red jersey yes, on. Yes, sir. We got timeout. It's third and short for the All Pirates. Right. Folks, it's it's a ball game, 20 to 14. You Pirates trail here. We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back with some Pirate action. Are you feeling tired or sluggish? Experiencing joint pain, changes in your hair or your skin? Have I got a solution for you? At the IV Drip Parlor, we can offer you the most effective way to get vitamins directly into your bloodstream, making you feel better and look better fast. We can't wait to schedule your appointment today or to see you just walk in. We are dripping with excitement to help you meet your best self. Come meet us at the IV Drip Parlor. Welcome back, Pirate fans. It is third and uh, about one for the Pirates. Here in the fourth quarter, six minutes on the clock. Pirates are trailing. They have been making some momentum here. Still running out of the hammer. The truck, Williams, takes the snap. Straight ahead to his left. On his feet, pushing people. He's hauling people in the back First end of that down. truck. First down, Pirates. For Athlete County. Down to the 16-yard line. For another County. First down. Oh, 
Big number 50, Caleb Robertson coming in the ball game. Yes, sir. He's taking the place of uh, Edwin Burt, Coat yep. 45 in there. We're putting, we got some big bodies up front now, a lot of big bodies. First and 10 for the Pirates. Marion Williams takes the snap. Running takes that left, left side. side. He's, got, He's a got a hole. Still He's on still his on feet. his feet. Still on He's his feet. He's touchdown. Pirates. What a job by Jamari in the truck. Williams. We are back in the ball game, Pirate fans. It is now a tie ball game. Extra point pending. Jamarian was not going to be denied on no, that sir. play. They were people hitting him. He, helmets wow. flying off. On to attempt the extra point for the Pirates, number 22, Alan Ramirez. Ramirez to attempt the. And the clock was still running. We got a man down out there, guys. Matter of fact, it is Jamar, and I think we're going to have to have maybe an official timeout, possibly. No? He's off the – He's walking out the end to end. The yeah, end he's giving everything he's got, folks, for these Pirates tonight. Probably gas. So we're yeah. going to line it up and try it again here. Dason Griffiths, the whole quarterback. Alan Ramirez, our hero from last week. 39 yarder beat Pierce County. Oop, they jump, snap, kick is up, and it's, it's good. good. Flag thrown, but I think we're going to take the extra point. Yeah, I think we're going to take the extra point and then decline to. Flag on the play. Yep. Offsides, penalties decline. That is the first. That is an extra point made. Yep. Pirates lead the first time in this game. 21. Well, no, excuse me. They led 7 to nothing yep. in the first, and now they finally got the lead back. It's 21 20, Pirates. All right, folks. What are we? Wait. Wait just a minute, oh. Cole. They're going to make him re kick it. They were right down here. They said it was a uh, dead ball. That Foul. <laughs> My bad. I was a little excited. <laughs> uh, well, he Jumped waved it on. Now we're going to re-kick. So. Oh, well. It's back to 20 to 20. We had to leave there for a second. Dead ball foul. Try it again. Snap. The hold. The kick is up, and it's good. And right down the middle, your razor, Alex Ramirez with the extra point. 21-20 here on your Village Pizza scoreboard. Guys, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with some pirate action. Auto Owners ensures your small business because it isn't small to you. That's simple human sense. Ask James M. Swain & Associates in Baxley and Hazelhurst if Auto Owners make sense for you. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense ask rents and rents insurance in baxley if all right welcome back pirates push kick in the air pirates are going after it fair catch hey fair catch around the 25 yard 25, line 25 called a fair catch on the 25 25 on the 25 all right, you Pirates lead 21-20 here in the fourth quarter. It has been everything we thought it was going to be. This Toombs County team is a bulldog of a team. The, I'm telling Literally. you, this is just, they're impressive. They we, got we the ball. Folks, the Pirate fans are finally getting on their feet and screaming and hollering. Let's see what our defense can do here. See if we can get some penetration. See if we can shut them down here. Pirate defense. Another turnover would be great. They got trips to the right, a single to the left. And this quarterback's a dual threat. Snap, hands right off, off that the middle. Back. We hit him, but stack we him up. He stack him up. Black jerseys everywhere. 
Colt 45 lost his uh, helmet. Edwin Burt having to come out. Got to have a player in there for him. And number 53, oh the big cat. The big cat. Mikhail Reed have not called a whole lot of name and numbers tonight, but been a lot of action here tonight. We got Cam Hickox in there on defense still. All right, they got trips over here on this side, on the short side, one man off by himself over there. He's looking, looking, looking. Got to make it, throws it up top. Camden Cam Hickox, Hickox is there, Dutch and he away. breaks it up. What a job by Code Red. What a job. That closing speed. And that number two is every bit of an athlete that you will ever see on this field, well, we David. we got a track star on him that runs step to That's step That's track for track is yes, what I'm going to tell you. That young man right there is an athlete, boys. Cam Hickox closed right, in on him and put a ball. hand out there and knocked it down. Third down. third down, third and nine. Ball on the 26. Same formation. He's going trips again. Throwing past the situation. He's looking, 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 looking. He throws the other side over there. And oh, and it's his over his head. Great job by your Pirates. To hold him, it brings up fourth and nine. Do you gamble here or do you not? That is the question. Yeah, let's see if they take something out of our playbook They do here. look like they're bringing out the kicker team. No mistakes right here. You tell everybody to hold back yep. and watch the ball. Hamden Hickox is back to receive. Watch the ball and do not try to go after this uh, kick, right, David? Yeah, let's get some blocks down there and give Cam Hickox a chance to return. This thing would be great. Dietrich to kick. It's a snap. No rush, no rush. He kicks oh, it deep, what a deep long, kick. deep over everybody. Oh, and it gets a pirate bounce. A pirate bounce coming back. And it ping-pongs off of two players. Ooh, that boy touched it a Man, ton. that was an awesome kick by Toombs County man, there. Dietrich, good gracious. <laughs> pirate fans, get on your feet. It is first and go, excuse, first and ten for the Pirates. I'm so discombobulated right now, David. I, these, these close games are getting me. They're killing me. That's nothing stupid here. Hang on to the ball. Let's... Pirates have got it on the 33-yard line, first and 10. Let's get down there and put some points Let's on the board. Defense, 4.24 left on the Village Pizza County. scoreboard. Ball on the Pirates 33-yard line. Well, we got Trent Griner going to take the snap, I think. Grinder with the ball, runs to his left side. He's got a hole. Ooh, they bent him over backwards, but not before he gained about three. Let's yeah, see what he marked three at. yards. 13, Trent Grinder on the carry. Got big uh, number 18, Cameron George, sledgehammer out there. Getting off that. I like about Trent Grinder. He can throw a ball. Yeah, they've got a man playing a uh, little deep back here. Yep. Don't think they don't scout you pretty good, both teams, David. we got Cam Hickox over here on this right side. Big play by Cam Hickox a while ago on defense. Big Smart play. play in here. Two big plays. That interception earlier kept them out of the end zone. We've got a hole here. He's got a hole. He's going. Go. Number 13 is going to the house. Yes. We've got a touchdown, Pirate fans. What a job by the Bull to score from the line of scrimmage. He just took off and scored for the Pirates. What some blocking, too. Let's take a look at this right here, Chris. Wow. Take look at it. Takes a snap. Cuts back to that left side. Gets a crease. Just runs past people and gone. Nobody in sight. My pirate fan right here in front of me, David. I, I am all about this. This young man has, has just brought me to life up That's here. That's right. <laughs> what a job by your pirates to lead 
Ramirez. Alan Ramirez for the extra point. Snap, the hold, the kick is up, and it's good. And it's good. Pirate fans, it'll Pirates lead 28 to nothing here in the fourth quarter. 28 to 20. 28 to 20. <laughs> 323 <laughs> on the clock. Guys, we're going to take a break on the Village Pizza scoreboard, and we'll be right back with some Pirate action. We insure your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you. Fans, we now lead 28 to 20 here in the fourth quarter with 3:23 on the clock. Alan Ramirez with the kick. David, take it away. Ramirez sets it up. There's the kick. Poops up short. Short. No fair catch. Called. Oh, and he's fumbled again, but he's still on his feet. Steps out of bounds. Number two did. That's twice he's done that yep. tonight. David gives him the ball on around the 28 yard line. Yep. Great kick by Alan Ramirez. He steps out at the 20. 25 stepped up and just let two come get it. He called him <laughs> off and then he muffed it, but it bounced out. All right, Pirate All defense right. has got to stand strong here. Still a one score a game. Scoring a two point can tie this ball. Like I up. said before, and I'll say it again, man, what a ball game. Yes. These close ones are tough to watch. All right, Pirate. Chris, I see your wife down there. Look like she's about to give out a breath now. Well, you know, she hadn't stayed off of her feet since the fourth quarter <laughs> come. I'm down there, too. She's on her feet. Both so. of them, proud of both of them, showing the, the standard. Pirate fans are standing. Quarterback takes the snap. He drops back. He's looking, looking. He throws. Got a man over. Slide. Oh, and he misses he missed it. it. Threw it low. Stanley's pass incomplete on the play. Makes it second and ten. That stops the clock. Well, Toombs County, once again, no huddle. Look to the sideline about like what yes, we do. Got trips to the right. Trips to the right. One guy over here, speedy guy over here. We've got Cam Hickox all over him. They like to go to this guy. He's looking for him. Throws a little screen out there to number two. He tries to get around our guy. Oh, he and he did. misses he the tackle, but he's caught by Treshawn Moore. Not before he gets a first down. Good backup by Treshawn, but good job. We know that number two is an athlete, and we got to stay yeah, on yeah. top of him. Fast, we, very fast. I think what we need to do is quit giving him those 10 yards. We're giving him a cushion. They're throwing that little screen and then let him miss somebody because they got him man-to-man -man coverage out there. Good athlete, David, no doubt about it. Sure is. 3.08 on the clock. First down, stop the clock. Better be careful throwing that ball over to the side if Camden does stay on him. Could be another interception here. He'll, He'll take it to the house. Motion. Number one coming to this side. Cam's backed up off of him a little bit. See what we oh, got. Oh, he moves. Like he moves. The ball there comes the flag. I think they saw yes, it. Yes, sir. Flag on play. Number one got a little happy and moved a little bit. A lot of noise in these stands. That's the twelfth man that we need. That that's makes what a difference. That's, that's right. what Jordan Ball asked for, and that's what we're getting. You keep doing it, Pirate fans. Here in the stadium, we need all the noise we can get. Mark off the five yards. Makes it first and fifteen. Now at the Toombs County forty-six yard line. All right, Pirate fans, get behind you, defense. All right, Toombs County up to the line. Got a five-man front. Three to the right. Stanley, the quarterback, number eight, Hayden Roy in the backfield with him. Trips to the right, one to the left. He's looking to throw. He keeps Oh, and he has gotten. There's what a got job. Burt's got him and slings him down. What is that, no? 
Never. You cannot hear. There's, there's no way. Hold on. What's this call? Did they call that on us? Yep. Called it on us. Personal foul. Pirate fans are not happy. Can't blame them, David, on that one. This is a crucial game and a crucial time. Gives them uh, half the uh, field back, David. Yeah, they got them back in positive territory. Play clock down to two minutes. 38 seconds what we're showing, 47. They put nine on there. Gives them second and eight. Got trips over to the left and short side this time, David. Trips the short side. Quarterback drops. He's looking. We got We got him, him got in the backfield. We got Ball's him. off. Edwin Bird. Edwin Bird with it. Ball. That is a pirate ball. Jalen Bennett, the bulldozer, just come in and crushed. What him, a buddy. job by the Pirates. Should be pirate ball. That ball That come is out. the pirate ball from my view up here. My voice can't tell it. The ball come out to see what the official's going to say. They're going to call it. Uh, they going to say he was down. Let's look at it right here. <laughs> Boom, the ball. The ball was out, out. brother. Third down. Couldn't have played that any better, David. Contact. Yeah. Ball come out with contact. Yeah, they call it and saying the ball was down by contact. It looked like the ball was out. So they're going to call it third down. Uh, after the call, it will be third down. Third and a bunch. Right, fans, wow, 240 play. left on the play it's clock. Got to stay in the game. That's the first time we've actually got some pressure back there on him, I think. He drops back again. We're coming in. We've got a big rush. He throws it over the top. Oh, and he broke it up. Gets it in. Got it. With the breakup again. Brings up fourth down. Incomplete. Broke it up. Play. By number three, it being Camden Hickox. Intended for number two, Laganza Hayward. Folks, what a ball game. Cam Hickox is doing it all tonight. All right, Pirate fans. Ain't bad for a band director, son, is it? It's fourth down. Fourth down right here. Timeout called by Toombs. Fourth and 15. Pirates are going to take a break with them. I think we will, too, to give me and David a little breather. <laughs> We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back with some Pirate action. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Folsom Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it. Do it. Welcome back, Pirate fans. It's a 28-20 ball game here in the fourth quarter. 2.24 on the clock. It's fourth and 15 for Toombs County Bulldogs. Ball on the 46. Toombs County 46. Jalen Bennett out there trying to get the crowd into it now. Getting their people. Pirate fans are on their feet. You know they've Toombs got some County kind of, folks is on their feet. Some kind of trickery in the books here. 
Got to stay on your man. Quarterback drops. He drops. Throws it up. Deep. He's got a He's man on our man. There. Oh, and it's called. Catch. Oh, my gosh. He made what a catch. catch. Who is that, number 25? All right, that was still Gavin a game, Fletcher folks. that made the catch. But what a pass by Stanley, T.J. Stanley. This quarterback is unbelievable. Two oh nine, the clock is ticking down. Two oh seven, two oh five, left in this ball game. Boy, this is the ball game Village of the ages. Scoreboard. There's the snap, kind of high snap, hands it off to running back. We grab him from behind and throw him down. That was number 23. Clock's still going to run unless they can call a timeout. Van hit him and Jalen Bennett hit him. Bennett's helmet come off, so he's got to come out of play. Cameron George, I think it is, coming in for him. on the play. It'll be second and 10 at the higher 16-yard line. Toombs County threatening again. Close ball game. Play we had him deep down. Again. 125 and counting. Stanley with the snap. Hands it off. No, he throws it over the top. Oh, and just just out of the fingertips. He was going to that number 25 again. Wow. What a ball game. If you're not here, you're missing. Ooh. This is <clears throat> unbelievable. Down. Don't think there's a person sitting down in these stands. No, sir. We got a lot of cushion on number two out here. Thank you. Okay. Then he throws it up towards Hickox over there. Wide. Incomplete. Stanley's pass incomplete on the It's going to bring up fourth down, Chris. That time for two, <laughs> this is a minute 12 on your Village Pizza scoreboard. Ooh, Pirates are up 28 to 20. Fourth down, ball on the 16. Wow. All right, twins to the left, twins to the right. Got a timeout called here by Toombs. The right time to call it with fourth down. Yep. Guys, we give up too many fourth down plays. Minute but I'm telling you, David, this quality team of Toombs that's brought over here today, I'm not going to take away from no, these kids. Yeah. Well, you knew they were going to be tough. We, Man, we've they, been saying it ever since last year. And then we found out what they were this year. And everybody, you know, you hear, well, they ain't played nobody. They ain't played no. No, we know what no, they're about. Man, they're, they're, they're a good ball team. They're real. They're for real. They are for real. And, uh, hey, three, three, man, this is just, <laughs> uh, you, you can hear it in my voice. Folks at home, I'm telling you, this is a ball game. Told David I didn't know how many more of these good type ball games I could handle. Man. The stress level that goes through your heart when you're a fan is Pierce County. Now Toombs County comes in here. Yes, I'm sir. telling you, it's just I said it before and I'll say it again. I'm just we glad we're playing them here, not over there. This is a strong, <laughs> strong region this year. Uh you know, I've heard it from the coaches and you know they didn't they didn't uh, hold back and tell any lies. All right, this is it, Chris. Minute eight. Fourth down. Got five men lined up back. David, that's uh, an illegal formation. There's no flag. Snap. He's looking. He throws it to the corner. Did he catch the ball? No catch. He caught the ball. No catch. Let's see what the scene is. Did he see no touchdown? Wow. Wow. Everybody can see that. That's, he never had control for his amount. Wow, fellas. There's no way. There's wow. They're calling touchdown. We're saying he didn't have control of the ball when he come down. So 
We're going to see a replay here and see if we can see anything. That's the throw. He throws it in the corner. I couldn't tell. Can't he tell was sliding from that out. angle. Yeah. All right, Pirate fans, make some noise for your defense. So there was going to have to there go was for two right here. An illegal formation there, David. There was five men in the backfield, oh, yeah. but 53 no seconds. Call. They got to go for two right here to tie it up. Quarterback's going to keep He's looking to throw. He's got a man. And it's and called. They tied it up. They tied it up. It's 28-28. They didn't go away on us, David. Wow. What a ball game. Well, this is a ball game. We asked yep. for it, and this is a nail-biter we wanted. 53 seconds left. Let's see what happens here. We're going to take a break with them, guys. We'll be right back with some pirate action. Are you feeling tired or sluggish? Experiencing joint pain, changes in your hair or your skin? Have I got a solution for you? At the IV Drip Parlor, we can offer you the most effective way to get vitamins directly into your bloodstream, making you feel better and look better fast. We can't wait to schedule your appointment today or to see you just walk in. We are dripping with excitement to help you meet your best self. Come meet us at the IV Drip Parlor. All right, guys, we're back. It's a tie ball game. And we're going to see a little pooch, pooch kick. kick up close. We dropped the ball. Oh, my goodness. Do we have it or did Toombs got, got Toombs the County ball? Toombs County just got the ball. And they're signaling Toombs County ball. We muffed the ball and they got it. Oh, my goodness. What a turn of events here. Say that Toombs County. We've got a man down. Guys, we're going to take a break. We do have a man down. We'll be right back with some pirate action. Auto Owners insures your small business because it isn't small to you. That's simple human sense. Ask James M. Swain and Associates in Baxley and Hazelhurst if Auto Owners make sense for you. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense ask rents and rents insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you Community centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Folsom Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it. Do it.
Are you feeling tired or sluggish? Experiencing joint pain, changes in your hair or your skin? Have I got a solution for you? At the IV Drip Parlor, we can offer you the most effective way to get vitamins directly into your bloodstream, making you feel better and look better fast. We can't wait to schedule your appointment today or to see you just walk in. We are dripping with excitement to help you meet your best self. Come meet us at the IV Drip Parlor. Auto Owners ensures your small business because it isn't small to you. That's simple human sense. Ask James M. Swain and Associates in Baxley and Hazelhurst if Auto Owners make sense for you. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense ask rents and rents insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you Community centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Folsom Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it. Do it. Are you feeling tired or sluggish? Experiencing joint pain, changes in your hair or your skin? Have I got a solution for you? At the IV Drip Parlor, we can offer you the most effective way to get vitamins directly into your bloodstream, making you feel better and look better fast. We can't wait to schedule your appointment today or to see you just walk in. We are dripping with excitement to help you meet your best self. Come meet us at the IV Drip Parlor. Pirate fans, uh, Camden was carted off the field. Uh, we hope he's okay. Well, we'll he just got keep up him on his own power. So he did. That's what I was fixing to say. Yeah. Um, they give the ball to Toombs County here. It's first and ten for them. My concerns with him, maybe the Pirate defense can stand up here and do something. Yep. Uh, As quarterback keeps it. He's looking, squirts through, gains about five. Trying to play for field position to kick a field goal to win this game. Uh, with 31 seconds on the clock, I don't know if you'll get another playoff, but they don't have any timeouts either. The clock's ticking down. and They have down, zero timeouts. Down. They've got to spike the ball or something. Uh, and Pirates has got to be prepared for anything. We need to get back there and get the ball. Maybe a mistake. They have no timeouts. Yep. Whatsoever. 
Play clock is so not they've got started. to snap the ball or do something. And he spikes the ball, and that stops it at eight seconds. Folks, I, I, I have not many words for this game tonight. Uh, not sure how to react to a lot of this that's going on tonight here. Um, I just hope and pray that Camden's okay. I don't like to see any any young man hurt. Um, there's been a lot of things going on tonight. And this is it right here. This is uh, eight seconds either you left. To be the ball game right here. Toons County could come in here and upset us right here. Dietrich the kick. Timeout's being called by the Pirates. Give us a breather. Timeout charge to Appling County. There Guys, this is going to be pass. it. This is going to be it right here. Did we take the timeouts, all of them, and ice them? We got three. We haven't used any. We're going to stay here live with you folks. Just be in prayer for Camden Hickox tonight. I hope he did get up on his own, but uh, yeah. he laid there for a while before they got him up. And the EMS was not here when they when they went down. Not sure where they were at. Uh, usually we have one on site. Uh, I know we have more than one. I don't understand why I wasn't one here, David. But, we have you know, one ambulance that runs out of the thing up I got there. You. the hospital, David. I got you. And I but anyways, it, here we are. It's, this is it. I mean, you either go take it to overtime or they make the field goal and win, and this is a region loss for us. You know, it's not what we wanted, but, again, a call here and a call there, and you are where you're at right now. This is going to be about a 32-yarder, ain't it? Actually, it's closer than that, David. He made one earlier. 31 yarders, so let's see what we do here. There's a snap, the whole high snap, and called a timeout. Another right. timeout called. I think we're seeing what we can do. Called on the field by Avalon County. Their second charge timeout. Can't take them with you. Got to have every athlete on the field right now. Jalen Bennett was upset because he had done blew through. <laughs> yeah. Well, the play was called dead. I know. So he was he fired up. This is actually a 25-yarder, David. Is it? It is. That's be 31 yards. Yeah, where are you kicking it from? 31, oh, okay. 32 yards. Yeah. I got you. So here we go again. We've called timeout. Let's see what we do here. Seven seconds left on the clock. I think they're waiting to reset the play clock. Get it back to, I think, the eight seconds. Yep, 8.2 seconds. And we're right now. Got everything together. Everybody standing on both sides. All right, Pirate fans, get on your feet and make some noise! There's the snap, the hold, the kick is up. It's wide. It's wide. No, it's good. Never mind. Toombs County made it. <laughs> Still got some seconds on the clock, David. Uh, hey, it oh, is what it, it is. was looking wide. Yep, looked like it was going wide, but it could, hooked in, so. All right, guys, we're going to take a break. It is what it is. We'll be right back with some pirate action. Auto Owners ensures your small business because it isn't small to you. That's simple human sense. Ask James M. Swain and Associates in Baxley and Hazelhurst if auto owners make sense for you.
insure your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you. We're back, Pirate fans. Looks like uh, we got a kick here. 31-28, Toombs County. They gonna kick it up, pooch it up. We got a man right, we throw it across. And they hit us, ball's loose. And that's gonna be the ball game, no flags. Toombs County has come in here and upset the Appling County Pirates. So that's going to be the ball game. Do we see anything else going? No well, flags. It's a region loss, folks. Not what we wanted. No. Nope. <clears throat> Thank you for attending tonight's ball game. Athlete County will be in action next Friday night. I have no words, David. This has just been I, one of the worst it's nights. It's been. It's almost like Halloween all over again. Yeah, you know, it's crazy. Uh, you know, I, I can't talk bad about nobody. I, you know, I'm not supposed to. Nah, Toombs County's got a great but, ball club. Uh, they, they really do. They, they've come in here and they beat our ball. I don't know if they've done it by themselves. They had a little bit of help there, David. I'm, yeah, I'm going to say that. But we can't take away from them. They no, we're really not going to take away from Toombs County because these boys come over and give the Pirates everything they wanted. Yeah, they had us led 17-7. to uh, Good good region win for them. It was an upset yep. for them. Uh, wasn't what we wanted to see. No, they'll get a lot more attention than we have since we've been number one. Uh, and we've and happy for them. A lot of mistakes. A lot of mistakes hurt us. Uh, not sure what happened from here. Yep. But, guys, it, it is what it is. I, I, you can't say anything else. Nope. You know, congratulations to them. They're now 7-0. and We are now 5-2. and We are one region – or one loss down. Yep. But, um, and uh, folks, I can just tell you, though, but look out for Toombs County. Yes, sir. They're coming after you. And, look out you know, all them. we can hope is Pierce County – uh, you know, gets them and it, you know, breaks up the monotony. I, I'm telling That'll you, be a three-way tie. Yeah, yeah, happens, I mean, so I want, what can you do? You, you know, can't, you just keep on. You hold your heads up high and keep on playing football. There's still more to play. We still got an opportunity yeah. to play. So we got beat by a quality team. We did, man. And I won't take away from them young men. They did. No. They did the job they needed to do. That's right. All right, folks. Uh, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back for our final comments. <laughs> Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. Football is all about teamwork. Every player does his job. Every player is on the same page. And the team never quits. Never. Never. We follow the same playbook at Woody Falls from Auto Group in Baxley and are proud to support the Appling County Pirates. Better get the back and let's do it. Do it. Are you feeling tired or sluggish? Experiencing joint pain, changes in your hair or your skin? Have I got a solution for you? At the IV Drip Parlor, we can offer you the most effective way to get vitamins directly into your bloodstream, making you feel better and look better fast. We can't wait to schedule your appointment today or to see you just walk in. We are dripping with excitement to help you meet your best self. Come meet us at the IV Drip Parlor.
Auto Owners ensures your small business because it isn't small to you. That's simple human sense. Ask James M. Swain and Associates in Baxley and Hazelhurst if Auto Owners make sense for you. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense ask rents and rents insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you down folding chairs and everything we're back we're back uh not the outcome that we wanted tonight david no, not no, whatsoever you know and I, I you just, know i'm gonna do this you know we can point the finger any way we want to hey uh yes. you know everything counts even on the scoreboard um can't take away from this tombs county bulldogs team they come over here tombs and play hard bulldogs. we we knew you were gonna be tough yeah and you played tough you never gave up we came back, and you kept clawing and scratching, and great job with Tombs County. That's right. I mean, all we say, but great job by our guys. We never gave up, neither. We were behind, right. and we kept up. And, um, at, this, at this moment right now, though, um, <clears throat> I want to say this. I want to be in prayer for Kim Hickox. I yes. pray that, you know, he's okay. I know his mom left with him while I go in the ambulance. Uh, Y'all be in prayer for Camden Hickox. Uh, he's he's a superstar on and off the field as a young yeah. man. He's really a great young man. So y'all be in prayer for him. Uh, quick healings. Maybe it was just a bump or a bruise. Uh, just ain't got a whole lot to say tonight, David. This is not the you know I'm not well, a, I'm not I, I hate to lose. You I know, know I'm I, gonna be the first to tell those folks I'm a very <laughs> big competitor. Um, not the way I want to lose. Uh, not the way I like yeah. to see losing. Um, I, I just we, we said it from and and we talked about it last year when we played Tombs County in Tombs County. We talked about they were going to be a better team this year. They were going to be a team, yeah. and, and we told them said they're going to be the ones that's going to be the tough. That's road. right. Not taking away from Pierce County, no. okay. but um, but we said it even tonight that okay. you know before the game to how good. Well, they were we be. we always um, we always have got um, play the game. We're going to do our play a game real quick, guys, and we're going to call it tonight. Yeah. Let's give it up to us, Derek Cole. Our play of the game kind of changed the outcome here a little bit. This is uh, Tombs County. They were getting ready to score. He dumps it over the middle, and Cam Hickox comes in and makes the the grab. Uh, and, and he's our player of the game. He is our player of the game. Well, folks, we're yeah. going to call it a, a night tonight. We're both tired. It's been a stressful night and a stressful week. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say this. Go we Pirates. Uh, be back with us next week. It's homecoming week next week, so we'll be back. For some pirate action, go pirates. Beam me up.